Med Humans detected Aiea as an Earth-type world via telemetry in 2165. After probe surveys indicated life, lush vegetation, ample fresh water and breathable air, the Alliance upgraded the planet to a Garden World colonization priority. Commanded by Captain Ronald Taylor, the crew of Alliance survey vessel Hugo Gernsback made planetfall on the jungle world in 2173. Soon after, ship transmissions inexplicably stopped. While the precise fate of the Hugo Gernsback command and crew is unknown, they are presumed killed in action and their vessel destroyed. Presumed. Unknown. Unknown. <laughs> Alright, how's it going? How are you doing, people? Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Where Maddie hates me because I play like a gorilla whose family was killed by loot, and where Axel hates me because I aim like a gorilla whose family was killed by loot. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate that you're on my side. <laughs> To learn how to aim. You just need to learn how to aim and you just, no, sorry. You just need to learn how to survive longer than the other guys. Just call it a gift. Just spread the word. The family will be okay. And I may be a, and I may be a, like I may be a, 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 sorry, a Leo player, but I ain't a, uh, I ain't a soul player. <laughs> I didn't mean... Okay, look, I'll take another look at the contract. Maybe it needs to be reclassified. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or... Did she kill somebody already? I have no idea. Just tell me where she is. If you insist, but fair warning, watch yourself around Samara. Justicars have a nasty habit of shooting people. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Just a car's embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. I appreciate you, Aaron. You're the only one that gets me. Thank you, buddy. And honestly, I don't think I've, like, okay, I pretty sure there were a few deaths earlier in the game. Because I was getting used to the adept, like, squishiness, because I'm used to soldier. And then there were deaths, like, primarily more deaths, rather, like, an act the actual section of, the sorry, the section of the game where I expected I would die a lot was exactly where I, where I died a lot, and that was the uh, collector ship during the ambush.
Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Have you considered just not getting killed? Nah. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. I should go. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. <sighs> I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone. But they are drawn to impossible causes. Best kind. If you're getting her out of my district, <laughs> I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. Her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Let's remember that next time Shepard sets us up against impossible odds. Not often enough. I fucking love you, Brad. I love you so fucking much, my son. My son. My son. <laughs> Our mission is more important than all of our lives. Anaya's superiors are just being foolish. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. I have to go. Good luck. We'd better find Samara before the detective goes after her. Grunt being your son is concerning. What do, what do you mean? What do you mean? He's my adopted son. I say, I, I, like, I literally just adopted a Krogan, and the Krogan... Just like my dino son. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this big boy. Look at him. Big, angry, violent, murderous child. Absolutely, my son.
Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar! <laughs> you were right about one thing. What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? I'm Commander Shepard. And I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse Sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way? I am afraid so. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. You know, Samara's really cool. Yeah, like, definitely, like, Samara is actually really rad. It's interesting to see a character archetype in Mass Effect that is essentially just a paladin. Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? You said you didn't know anything about all this. You've got one chance to change that statement. What do you mean, Earth Clan? Oh dear, please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell me everything. 
I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. <laughs> I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. <laughs> Take it. But be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. I can assure you, my kill count is more than their entire ship combined. Toxicity level hit max. Do you just like instantly die if it does? All right, so no shot in here. Damn shame that Grunt's got the best shotgun in the game already. So. Once I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. Whatever. Pretend to keep breathing. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora. And you lost. Screw that bastard and screw you. <laughs> Really? <laughs> this might be useful. Whoa, 
was your plan? <laughs> You know, uh, in this case, Vox, I'm sorry. Are you, playing, are you playing towards Renegade because you're literally coming apart at the seams? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you tried to be, we've been trying to be a good person, but literally everything we do just seems to get people killed. And now we're trying to lose it. Just slightly. So he could just build the med bay upgrade to fix his face, but I, for some reason, don't expect he will. What was your first clue? <laughs> oh. That shot! such a huge drain on like resources.
It's official. Little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged Eclipse Merc. I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous Bolas. Up close, exploding rounds. Blew the little bastard's suit wide open. <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I go home, my friends are gonna be so jealous. Elnora was the killer. See, good that you shot her. Detective Anaya would be interested in this. Mm -hmm. Now, I actually didn't remember that. I just shot her. I, I, I killed her because instinct. It's like, and just a little while ago, we were just told that Eclipse, like, like Eclipse members have to kill someone to get the suit, like, to get their outfit. Should have run. Now you're fried, Griffin! God bless you, Grin. Has limited homing. Yeah, we've seen how my we've seen how limited homing works with my abilities here, brother. <laughs> At least the biotic abilities come up like have a cooldown. Kane eats through ammunition like nobody's fucking business. like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. Not what the Asari wants, but it marks the Volus criminal. I'm sure Detective Anaya would be interested in this. We've got to keep moving. Yeah, this dude, this dude, this dude. <laughs> You stand before the mightiest biotic ever! Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. Okay. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me!
Are you part of Pitney Forest Trade Group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure won't get delayed. His kind like money more than clan. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasea about like a rag doll. Shepard, having this incapacitated Bolus running around our battlefield could compromise us. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasea will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last. But, Great Wind, Biotic God, I'm, I, what was I saying? I'm tired. You may be right. Yes, well, I'm tired. I'll nap. Destroy the universe later. So much for godhood. Also, I'm sorry to hear that, Joe, that I don't know how that works. I don't know how you're locked out of your room because of that sort of thing, but like, or rather, like, how that situation occurs to begin with, but I apologize. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! I'm the fight! Have been overkill, but damn, did it feel good! Nice. You want to look around or go back? We've got time. Let's look around some more. Should we go back to the spaceport main yard? Let's go. Now, if there's one thing we can all agree upon, it's that the cane is just absolutely satisfying. It's like, eh, uh, nah. <laughs> there's this fight going on, but then there's not. <laughs> If you have 
have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. Uh, yeah, that'd be great for you. <laughs> I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. You'll be a great asset to our mission. I'm excited to have you along. I am glad to hear it. I will fight by your side, kill your enemies, and protect your friends. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard, and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. <clears throat> we still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. <laughs> Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Why do you gotta why you gotta say it like that? <laughs> can't you be fun like why can't you just be normal? How'd you sleep? I don't sleep. I j <laughs> I wait. <laughs> There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. You did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Too bad her manner is just so cold. 
Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. All right. Well. <clears throat> We got left now up until we go to recruit the uh, good boy is loyalty mission so let's get started recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? It looked suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. That is the most polite Krogan I, I have ever met. Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. Flashier. I want something that says <laughs> fix our expense. <laughs> I own this room. And and yeah, it is her uh, DLC outfit. Confidence. When you join the Blue Sun's mercenary group, Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and the cat are the only two I trust on this. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. <laughs> now, this is actually one of those odd missions where I could ring Thane for it, now that I think about it. Because it's, uh... Eclipse. Eclipse usually... Eclipse has a lot of barriers, so we can actually bring a thing for once. mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas.
put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. <sighs> Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! Not great. Not a great landing. I got this. No, you don't. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. I think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. I'm giving you one chance to leave. That's more than most get. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you... What? <laughs> We've been spotted. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. If Eclipse knows where Ariana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Let's go find Niket and Orion. Right. Yo, Thane, where did you go, buddy? Thane? Thane, don't leave me alone with her. They're on the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. Oh, fuck.
Yes, yes. We all know about Ugly. your Vanguard fetish. Calm down, buddy. This should come in handy. Take it. Your accuracy still be shit with you with a literal good scan pistol. Who the fuck even cares? They're dead. Holy shit! Holy shit! Rit! Holy shit! This is crazy.
No. I will do whatever the fuck I want. You have a problem with it? Play the game yourself. I don't fucking care what you say. They're dead. It doesn't fucking matter. God, you're being so bitchy today. See all you, all your Maybe bitching. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in, and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it! Why won't the thing go any faster? See, all your bitching makes you want to do is actually try to aim worse. I think I'll start aiming for the hips next. <laughs> What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Did Niket know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. We won't know anything until we find Niket. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Listen to me. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. <laughs> Jesus. Niket, you sold me out. Not many civilians around. We can end this here and now. Not before I get some answers. Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. How did Miranda's father turn you? 
They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully, no trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. How much did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn it, Niket! You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought me. So you just took his money? Don't get holy with me, Miri. You took his money for years. I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty. But kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Oof. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? Man, I just realized Mass Effect 2 is really just Mass Effect shit dad edition. There's so many bad dads in this game. If the cat knows about Oriana, then your father does too. Relocating her won't work. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. I'm going to miss you. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Oh, I'll tell him that you hid her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Nikit. <laughs> Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! Yeet! I see you, Shepard. I mean, I was... that was a great idea in theory, Miranda, but now you knocked her out of range. Like, behind cover. that I don't get what you were going through there, but still. M920 cane for when you just want to skip the encounter. I can't believe Nick had sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human, just like the rest of us. 
But I let it get personal, and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch... You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part? You can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. You still have Orion. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. Yes, I do believe like the king literally just incinerates all bodies within its AoE radius. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. Yeah, Miranda, we are literally about to walk into hell. We... You know, just... Go. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Excuse me, but I found a locket with a picture of a human and someone who looks like you. Oh, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. Left, huh? 
including some that I've had the delay on doing for quite a while. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Pretty sure Garrus is now in the uh, calibrations loop, but might as well check. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. You really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creep the hell out of me. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Yeah. We'll talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Alright, so we're... Okay, so... Garrus is... Uh, yeah. He's in the calibration zone. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself, for what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. Sounds like you had a soft spot for Niket, after all. I didn't have many friends. Niket was one of them. He never wanted anything from me. He was safe, comfortable. A reminder of a more innocent time, I suppose. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have, a normal life and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. Are you gonna talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused, and she needs time to adjust to her new home. You never told me what you talked about. I introduced myself. Her family was shocked. She adjusted quickly, of course. She's as smart as I am. She plays the violin. Loves the adagio movement of Nielsen's fifth, just like I do. She wants to work in colony development. Told a joke about it. She's really funny. Something we don't share. <coughs> uh, I mean, <coughs> uh, you, you don't say. Let me know if I can do anything else. I think I got it from here. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again, okay. thanks oh. in large part to you. I won't forget that. Yep. A long day's work. I hope you don't hit. I, I hope you don't just suddenly hate me in the next like hour or so. <laughs> a few minutes to talk if you wish the last time we talked you started speaking about a past event as if you were watching it drell have perfect memories we can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity it's difficult to control at times some of us disappear into you know let's call it solipsism what do you mean solipsism when a memory feels as real as life it's as valid as life thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. <clears throat> Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls and metal and plastic? Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. 
the memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remembered the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. <laughs> good point, good point, good point, good point. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. You don't seem to feel guilty. Why should I? My employers killed them. My body was only the tool they used. If you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? Your body doesn't make the decision to shoot. Your mind does. You make the choice to kill. When someone aims a gun at you, you pull your trigger. You don't think. It's reflex. Any combat training conditions the body's reflexes. My training was very thorough. Drill minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel and accept that it is not always under our control. So if I shot you dead right now, a drill court wouldn't convict me? You'd be guilty because you chose to shoot me. If my reflexes caused me to draw and fire when I saw your gun come up, I would be innocent. Humans often believe in a soul distinct from the body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset-colored eyes? Ah. Uh, that time. Laser duck trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. A bystander noticed my spotted laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid draw memory? Not... no. She was a vivid person. Did you take the shot? Not that day. I should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. You've spent a lot of your life alone, Dane. <laughs> Work fulfilled me. Reading. I barely spoke to anyone outside my family. It seems there will be no one to mourn me when I die. You're the only friend I've made in ten years. I am so sorry for you. I am very quite sorry. The rest of us lose as much as you do when you hold yourself apart. I found it difficult to sit in the ship's mess for meals. I'm used to keeping my back against a wall. Facing the doors. I'm trying to relax. Find my center. I am glad I joined your team. It has been too long since I traveled with companions. When the time comes, I will do whatever is necessary. You're an important part of this crew, Samara. It is my honor. Also, there is a matter I need to discuss. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. 
two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Jesus! Marth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. Well, three. Man, that is unfortunate. <laughs> it can't be easy to talk about. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter and kill her. We'll go find Morinth. All right, well, that's her loyalty mission. Thanks. Hey, got a minute? Liara Tassoni's got quite a reputation. I've done business with her people before. I hear you and she were an item before. I bet it was hard running into her again after all this time. My heart goes out to Miranda and her sister. That's a rough situation. Jacob deserves better than a father like that. I probably would have wanted to shoot him too. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Mm-hmm. Because me. Are we done talking? Shepard. Just checking in. How you doing? I'm branching out. Got a list of enemies now. They all give me joy when I picture cutting them, crushing them. There's this one imprint, a Solarian with the... What are they? The, the things on his head pulled apart? Bet it caused a generation of revenge. What is that? A few weeks for them. So what did you want? Don't wear yourself out on someone else's memories. We've got our own bad guys to fight. Your enemies are my enemies. We'll shove the Collector's Claws where a dark sun can't shine. And they will deserve it. I won't disrespect their strengths by doing less than the worst to them. That's the kind of thinking that will save a galaxy. You make it possible, Shepard. You're my battle master. You give me purpose. That's what makes Krogan feared soldiers, and not animals. Lead well, Shepard. 
You have my respect. Yeah. I wanna hug him. I just wanna hug him. I just wanna give him a big hug. Big hug. Very big hug. I don't know if I got anything new to say about you, but I'm gonna ask anyway. This mission takes me back. Tough fight on Horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band while on the way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. Collectors and Protheans. It's all about my pay grade. I'm more used to putting down rebellions, tracking down bastards who didn't pay their gambling debts. Still, even I know a galaxy shaking revelation when I hear one. Makes fighting land wars for pay seem small time. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, personal matters on mind, actually. Got call from nephew. Promising geneticist himself. Just turned 16, got tenure at university. Following in my footsteps. Had to lie about what I was doing. Think he was suspicious. Doesn't matter. Still good to hear his voice. Does anyone in your family know about what you really did for the government? No. No, I'm lying, but won't pry. Salarians curious as a people, but also have social cues. Keep two types of secrets from family. First type, personal or guilt-based. Invite suspicion, exploration, puzzle to be solved. Reward for curiosity, intelligence, drama. Other secrets, more serious. Dangerous if discovered. Signals discourage curiosity for protection of family. Well, why wouldn't everyone give clues that their secrets were too dangerous to be uncovered? Not conscious. Social, reflexive body language. Can't fake it. Example, yawning perceived as contagious among humans. Subject observes yawn. Sensory input deactivates left periamygdalar region. Subject yawns in response. Social empathy. Also works with dogs. Salarian faking signals to discourage curiosity, similar to human faking a yawn. Can try, but effectiveness limited. Hmm. Are you calling him because you're worried we won't make it back? No. Aware survival unlikely, but actually contacted him for family connection. Hard to imagine galaxy. Too many people. Faceless. Statistics easy to depersonalize. Good when doing unpleasant work. For this fight, want personal connection. Can't anthropomorphize galaxy, but can think of favorite nephew. Fighting for him. Your nephew got tenure at 16? Is he a genius or a scientific prodigy? No, wait. Don't want to insult him. Yes, uh, but not in manner you meant. <laughs> Remember, Salarian lives short, but you're rapidly by your standards. Don't live much past 40. I'm glad you got to talk to family before we finish this. And I'm glad we talked too, Gordon. Honored to be part of this, Shepard. Helped preserve Galaxy before with Genophage. Dirty work. Ethically ambiguous. Problematic. Collector's mission simpler, cleaner. We'll be proud to see it in Morton's Solus biography vid. Unless we all die. Proud posthumously, in that case, regardless. Thank you. <laughs> I believe that is the end of the Morton conversations, I believe. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, <coughs> we'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. <laughs> we'll talk later. Commander. And that's the end of the Jacob dialogues. The, the Jacob conversations. <laughs> I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. <laughs> <laughs> So 
so typical. <laughs> At this we'll party and like I can tell you one thing about parties, Jacob. I have social anxiety. I hate people. The only parties I'm good at are the ones where I bit or the ones where I get to be the tank or the healer. Don't ask me to DPS. Okay. So now we got Okay, so we have to help Samara and Zaid. Oh, fucking Jack is all the way over here, too. I forgot about her. Alright, so... Let's go deal with Zaid's mission. forget about another of the proto Maddie characters uh, because I haven't talked to her haven't seen her and I don't ever bring her in my party Unlike Kasumi's mission, this one is very straightforward. Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Squad Bravo, a shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Oh Here we go. God. Keep close. He sounds like a, he sounds like a fucking villain from like a a. Uh, like Schwarzenegger film. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito's style. Let's push ahead.
Santiago. If any of you retreat while the intruders are still alive, I'll kill you myself. Now get the hell back out there! Vito. Sounds like he hasn't changed. Sounds like he needs to get shot. Glad to see you and I agree. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes. Every time I sighted down on a target. Every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. Oh, he's so fucking cool! <laughs> We'd better get moving. <laughs> they're at the southern axis. All squads mass at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Such a good fucking line. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. That's so... Ooh, that's so good. Squad Charlie, Delta. Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Gone nearsighted, old friend. Burn, you son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. What the hell are you doing? Well, no! Opening the gate. Next time you're gonna blow something up, I want to know about it first. Vito was confident. Had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. You don't make a move unless I know about it first. This is my mission. Remember that. I came here to kill Vito Santiago. If you want my help on your mission, you better make damn sure that man dies today. You want him dead, then he dies. I don't care what else happens, as long as Vito swallows a bullet. Time. 
Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. I get why you want Vito dead, but is he really worth watching those people burn to death? I'm not sticking around to watch. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Let's get moving before Beto gets away. Glad you see it my way. No! Help! No! Interesting. might be useful. Oh cool, just in case I wanted to commit more war crimes. <laughs> I have a flamethrower now. Damn. 
That fuel tank's coming loose. Shoot it! Bring it down on top of it! Because your uh, demise was oddly timed. <laughs> Swagger, all your bluster. You were just it so. It was 20 years ago. Look at you. I did you a favor. Really? Saeed, please. I'm gonna die here, man. Do something. Try, you son of a bitch. Whew, I forgot about this. <laughs> I think that justifies thermal clips, if just for that scene.
Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Yeah, that's, a, that's about even. That's about uh, what I expect from uh, a Paragon Renegade skill at this point in the game. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I've been meaning to speak with you, in fact. Uh oh. Oh boy. That's what I... Don't like that. Don't like that phrase. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, Based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. What? You disapprove? No. I'm just impressed. You're... Well, look at you. A kid from the slums of Earth. No family. Little formal education. And you've done more than I could. Despite everything my father did to make me perfect, you're... You're the best humanity has to offer. You always bring up your genetic tailor. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. That's a tough feeling to live with. Maybe after we save the galaxy, you'll change your mind. We can hope. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I appreciate it. Hey. I believe it's... I'm pretty sure that's not the end of Miranda's dialogue option, so we'll come back later. Run the loop on Garrus, run the loop... Okay, thank you, thank you. Sure we're done. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Very well. I am. I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my work clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Laser dot trembles on the target's skull. The smell of spice on a spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. So how did she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles, not fear. Indignation, her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I trained to sacrifice ourselves to save others. 
How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Urashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. When you talked to Kolyat, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who came for her? Batarians. A slaver ring that was preying on Hanar out her colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me. So they went after her. Oh, he's fucking Batarians, for fuck's sake. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers. Murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly. Cleanly. To minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. I don't blame you. They killed innocents to get to you. For you and me, death is business. For people like them, it is sport. I haven't spoken about my wife and... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Thane, the worst thing is to face death with regrets. You're part of my crew, and I consider you a friend. If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've never been part of a team. Assassins tend to be solitary. I'm learning the virtues of facing death with others at your side. It's a work in progress. Missions remain. Well, for now. Total four, but we're gonna do two more before we move on to the Reaper IFF. Yes, Priul, that's Thane. But you like the do but you like the fucking drow voiced by Yuri Lowenthal. Fuck off. Get the fuck out of here, pre. Get <laughs> just fuck off. <laughs> hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. Yeah. They build their equipment to last. Assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. Get a hold of yourself. It'll be okay. I'm fine. Okay, let's get on the ground. Ah, you're right. I, you're right. You're right. You're right. I really should have brought my hand up. That's my bad. Ah, I think I might have auto-saved already. That sucks. I should have brought Miranda. I should have. <laughs> Or we can restart, or we can restart. Hang on. Let's see. 
I don't know. Uh, does the restart does the restart take me back to the um to the like the party select screen or does it just like Or does it just start the mission like from this cutscene? Okay, okay, okay. So it auto saved from the uh, mass relay. That works. That works. Just fine. Gonna cause some problems. Cause dissent among the ranks. hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. This was a secret Cerberus facility. Yeah, they build their equipment to last, assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. Get a hold of yourself. It'll be okay. I'm fine. Okay, let's get on the ground. Just get in there and plant the bomb in my cell. I want to watch this place burn. I never saw this room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving, but alive. Usually. like this facility went rogue. You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? He didn't say what they were hiding from the elusive man. I thought that was a, I thought that was a VI interface. I thought I could interact with that for more knowledge. My apologies. I remember it looking for this room, fighting here. I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half-dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. like an arena that's right they used to stage fights here pit me against other kids i loved it only time i was ever out of my cell <laughs> the way she said it though i loved it <laughs> what were they studying 
Hell if I know. Maybe that's how they got their kicks. I never understood anything that happened here. How often did they do this? I was in a cell my whole life. Sometimes they took me out and made me fight. Filled me with drugs, other stuff. Time gets funny in a cell. Did other children die in these fights? I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. They actually rewarded you for attacking? I still get warm feelings during a fight. What the hell was wrong with those people? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. Let's keep moving. Hell yes. Security officer Zimple, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin the... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. It looks like there was a lot you didn't know. The other kids attacked me. The guards attacked me. The automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation. You were also in... you were also a child. This place is supposed to be empty. Who the fuck shot that Baron? It's a fresh kill. They need a morgue. This was a small facility. A lot of children died here. Even then, they were part of the experiment. Bullshit. I had the worst of it, and I made it out alive. That's all of them. Not everything's as cut and dry as you think, Jack. Never usually is. Strange to be back here. I feel like I'm pissed off. I'm a dangerous bitch, but then I'm a little girl again. Shit, it's complicated. Let's just go plant that bomb. It's about to get fun. We got 
Got him. I don't think about it, man. I think it's a bring. Well, yeah. If I wasn't here for if I wasn't here for the fun of this, bringing Miranda on this. It's a two-way mirror. My cell is on the other side. I could see all the other kids out here. I screamed at them for hours, and they always ignored me. But if, like, if I wasn't here for the kicks of bringing Miranda to a secret surface facility, I could have, like... I think Morton probably would have been a pretty good choice. But again, Grunt. Grunt would still I must have come choice. through here when I broke out. But I don't remember it. This is a bad place. Iteration of Pergnum went poorly. Subjects 1, 4, and 6 died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up. We are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. This whole place was built to turn you into what you are. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. You move on, harder and tougher. Hey, Arash. It's Kira. Yeah, the intruders are here. You want them dead? We have to talk creds. You promised us lots of salvage, but this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put them down. Then I'm coming in there and we're gonna talk salvage. You're in my way. Get them! Kill them on my own! I want them dead! I'll destroy them. <clears throat> Left is my old cell. Whoever Aresh is, he's in there. I want to plant the bomb there anyway. Might as well do it on his corpse.
Come out. We know you're here. Who are you? My name is Oresh, and you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question, and I'm still looking for the answer. Why did you come back? I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew, how to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it? This place was like a prison. How did you get out? We all attacked at once as they were taking us to the lab. They would have put us down. But then Jack got loose. When I came to, it was over. The guards, the scientists, and the kids were all dead. And you were gone. I stopped it. All of it. Maybe the others did have it bad, but what you're doing is just messed. Everything we went through must have been worth something! You'd do the same thing to new kids? Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it. We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. Fuck that. Jack, he's trapped in his past. You need to move on from yours. He wants to restart this place. He needs to die. He's crazy, and he's never gonna restart this facility. You have to let it... Your past doesn't have to control you. Fuck! Get out of here! Go! He's not worth chasing. None of it is. If you're done here, let's plant the bomb and get out. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. Go ahead. Nothing's changed, but it's all different. I used this table for everything. It was like my best friend. I'd crawl under it to cry. I was pathetic. Man, the fucking the dialogue cutoff glitch is just so like apparent here. Sometimes I dream that I'm back in this bed being tortured. I used to tie the sheets around my wrists and try to rip them off. I want to stop coming back here. I thought that room out there was the rest of the world. I'd pound and yell. Never did any good. See the scarring on the wall here? That's where I killed my first man. One of the guards tried to stop me. Instead, I stopped him. Okay, no more wallowing. Let's blow this place to hell. Yes, the dick tattoo. <laughs> and yes, I think blowing shit up is a wonderful way of coping with the past. <laughs> Jack and Miranda in the middle of a disagreement. Can you head it off before they tear out a bulkhead? 
I'll deal with it. Take pictures. Shit, Joker. Shit. Touch me and I will smear the world with you, bitch! Enough! Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. My opinion is the one that matters. You two keep a deck apart at all times. She can't be trusted, Shepard. She'll jeopardize the whole mission. If we survive this, you two can tear each other apart. Until then, save your hate for the Collectors. She'll survive. I'll make sure of it. Then, I'll tear you apart myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. <laughs> okay, so... For those who were uninitiated with that something that's like pre pre in here, I'm not sure if Aaron's still about, still about, but um, there are four different party members who, after you complete their loyalty missions, will have an argument with one another. And uh, if you have a high enough paragon or renegade, you can uh, delegate. You can like you know handle the situation to the point where they both just kind of like, fine, we'll just work it out later. If you can't, if you don't have enough Paragon or Renegade, you have to side with one of them, and the other one loses loyalty. And, uh, it's a fucking problem. Now, in uh, certain scenarios, later rather, after that scene plays out, yeah, after the scene plays out, you can talk to them again later on, whenever your Paragon or Renegade score is high enough, and you can like convince them, hey, I have to, have to say that to make sure to keep the other one on our side, and then they're like, okay, fine, do that again, and I'll do that again, and we're fucking done, though, and this is like, well, okay. I needed to wipe that place off the map. You took me there to do it, and I owe you. You don't know what it's like, Shepard, to have garbage like that following you. It marks you in ways you... you don't expect. Uh, bitch? <laughs> I've made a lot of hard choices, Jack. Like what to let go. Hard to walk away from it. You'd think it would get easier now that the place is a crater. But what else do I know? I never thought I'd see you show mercy. But you let a wretch live. He was trapped in the past, reliving it every day. You showed how that could be me. I'm not getting stuck like that. I'm better than him, and I'm sure as hell not carrying that crater around with me. Do you think you're different now? I know that place is gone. But I still kind of want to kill every person I see. No offense. I'll take what I can get with you, Jack. You did a lot, Shepard. Shit. I'm not good at this soft stuff. Just... Thanks, okay? Let's... Let's get back to work. Do that. Messages for you, Commander. All right. Next one is a. Uh, next loyalty mission is going to be for Samara, and Samara's is actually another one that has no combat.
Let's see what her other outfit is. It's more or less the same, but she puts on a shirt. And uh, I guess the other person really doesn't matter, but take a run. What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yachi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. Oh, right. I forgot about Morinth. I, I thought about her for a second. It's like, Lord Almighty, Morinth is just like the edgiest bitch. I swear to God. <laughs> like, we have some, like, in this party, we have some serious edge work. We have, like, Grunt. We have Zaid. We have Jack. I think Morph might be the worst. <laughs> Shepard? Greetings. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. You look like a good person to know. You need something? Well, if you'd be so kind, I hoped you might consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. I'm listening. I'm in the information business, specifically the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? Find someone else to do your dirty work. Of course. You're not the type to be interested in work that could change the face of a place like Omega. I'm sorry I bothered you. We're leaving. Come find us if you change your mind. Explorer ships have reported seeing vessels of an unknown but whose silhouette strongly resembles ancient Rakanash profiles. The few ships sighted have been small scouting vessels that rapidly retreated. The council has pledged a full investigation. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago, and no one seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off of making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. 
So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you. Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> my baby. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and, well, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. You mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Year's salary for it, but I'd never part with it. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces, we can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and... She's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the Halex is flowing through me, the way she looks at me, with a, a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary, cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Close the hollow journal. This is Maureen's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peer. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who's successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. 
She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So, we have to lure her out? Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Oh boy. Oh man, I, I remember. Oh, this machine has some. <laughs> this machine has some fun. told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jerub. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Keep that in mind. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. We literally just, you just joined my crew like two missions ago, calm down. <laughs> Tickets for Expel 10. I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want her. I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. It's hot. It's sweaty. Wait, 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 wait. I saw a punch prompt. Don't be like that. I got creds. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. The lady asked you to step away. What the hell? I'm just looking for a good time. This isn't your business. Yeet! Good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. Oh, are you still here? Uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? Slow down and tell me what the problem is. Right. Slow down. Sorry, I, I just don't know what to do. My friend Moiral is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Floret. He's the worst of the worst. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Floret's on her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Floret, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. 
I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. You're an interesting one. I hate this place and everyone in it. Every night I hate it all over again. I don't talk to people. Sorry, we're here. something man is there a public extranet terminal around here in a club you don't have an omni tool that is a pretty strange question i get by on public terminals my omni tool has been broken for an eternity that's a tough break i'm done talking to you now hey florid i have to pee yeah hurry back moirol i'm ready to head out So much. I really thought she was going to die. No, I don't need to show off my dance moves. <laughs> I think I'm good. Display you. I'm gonna hit some of that good cred hunting tonight. I'll hit him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of Arya's people, we're good. We gotta get enough creds to keep Hank off our backs. Hey, what are you looking at? A pair of sad losers who think they're something and are about to find out they're not. Who's gonna show us that? You? Human thinks he's a tough guy. Tougher than you. Bust a wolf! My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Nope. Yeah, some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? You and I want the same thing. Do we? What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel Ten. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halleck? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Porta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Vianya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, <laughs> I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? <laughs> My apartment is nearby. I want you alone. <laughs> Violence is a means to an end. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Okay, fine. Let's go to my apartment, please. <laughs> a gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. A 
Hey. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? I'd rather fight than hide. Yes. Better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. So strong. I need this. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, come on. Am I strong enough? Am I strong enough? Resist! Resist! Look into my eyes. Resist! You want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. Don't count on it. But you... Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marin! Mother. Do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter. Mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morin! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari. But they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. So... Like I said, let, like Chaos is explaining, the next, if you had failed to resist her via the Paragon or Renegade scores, this choice wouldn't show up. But because I was strong enough, I get the choice of either choosing to kill Morinth or choosing to kill Samara and having Morinth take her place. However, comma... Fuck that. We're, 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 no, we're deciding on Samara. Also, Morinth is actively like End of the line, Morin. One of the biggest party members in the game. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Oof. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Let's go. Yeah, if you uh, tried, to, like, if uh, <laughs> if you go talk with Morinth after the fact and you try to uh, sleep with her, it's a game over, like straight up. Joe. Be safe and uh sorry about that. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
can see why Jack is the way she is. I don't like it, but I get it. It must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter. She told me she really appreciated your help. As hardcore as she is, I'm not sure she could have done it without you. Zaid strolling around like he owns the place, but he seems a little confused. Twenty years of seeking revenge, and now it's over. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. What's it mean? Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Of course, Shepard. Join me. Still talking to Cole yet? Yes. It's still difficult, but he seems less angry. Will you hear my confession, Shepard? I wouldn't talk to you if I didn't want to hear what you have to say. When I married Erika, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family, but I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius Commission because I didn't know what else to do. Not the healthiest attitude to take on a mission. You're right, it's not. Looking back now, it's clear I'd resigned myself to death. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target, forcing me to move faster, challenging me. I had to reach her first. I had no idea you planned to die in there. It wasn't a plan. My body had accepted its death. My mind had been dead a long time. Your mission gave me purpose, a cause to die for, a chance to atone. I was able to speak to my son again. I can leave my body in peace. We've got a long way to go before you can rest. I know. I'm prepared for whatever comes. I believe that is the end of Thane's Dialogue Tree. I believe... It's like two... It's like more or less like two conversations after the fact, after their loyalty. I believe. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Alright, so we're done talking with Miranda. Pretty sure we're done talking with Grunt. Probably done talking with Thane. I think like Samara and Jack. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams, were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morith was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. What will you do now that Morith is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardatyakshi. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari-exclusive pairings. I don't know. I thought Ardatyakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. 
I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace, due in no small part to you. <sighs> Not that I can blame you. Sad, but understood. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so. I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What did you do when you found out? What do you think? Uh-huh. <laughs> Doesn't sound like you're doing much living. Not for yourself. Hey, you did me a favor helping with that base, but don't lecture me. Everybody wants something, and because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Done it all, and that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. <laughs> a space station. You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. You were a pirate too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. They really liked that moon. <laughs> Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not going to change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. Thanks for asking. Another lesson. Jack, subject zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. I've done a lot of crazy things, but I never tried to take on a thresher more on foot before. Standard operating procedure when you get a thresher more is run the hell away. Pick up sticks, move the hell out. Krogan don't know any better, I guess. Still, hell of a fight. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. All right, well... That's, uh... Everything we're doing until we, uh, collect our last party member, which is what we're gonna be doing right now. Oh boy, I'm excited! 
All right. No messages for you, Commander. It's time for the good boy. It's time for the good boy. Okay. All right. But before we do that, I'm gonna take a little. I'm gonna take a little break. Hit the bathroom. Grab some water. Grab a drink. Grab some water. Yes, I, I am grabbing both at the same time. A drink and some water. No, we're sitting. No, 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 no. We're saving Tally for after the, the mission. Because you get two. Because after Tally. Because after this mission, we have two. We have the space of two different loyalty missions. So we'll have it for the good boy and for Tally. And we're going to be bring in the good boy on Tally's mission. No, it's two. You get space for two. It's just one if you don't have any other loyalty missions to do. If the good boy's mission is the only one, then you do that and you get to the end game.
And I am back. Ready to get this shit fucking done. It's a good time awaiting us. This is genuinely one of my favorite missions in the entire game. It's a lot of fun. And also chaotic as fuck. Alright, sound off, losers. Who's here? still here, Joe. And also, Priul, that's not assassination, that's suicide. Damn. That is really good cheap. Fuck. Hmm. Too late. What's with all the chop, Joker? Doing my best. The wind's gusting to 500 kph. ship alongside the Reaper. It's not transmitting any IFF, but the radar paints its silhouette as Gap. I guess we know why the science team stopped reporting in. What just happened? The Reaper's mass effect fields are still active. We just passed inside their envelope. Eye of the hurricane, huh? I need you both on shotgun duty at all fucking times. Uh, smells bad. There's blood, but something's wrong with it.
What just happened? The Reaper put up kinetic barriers. I don't think we can get through from our side. Trapped in a Reaper. I want to shoot someone. We'll have to take down the barrier generators from in here. Any idea where they are? At the moment of activation, I detected a heat spike in what is likely the Rex Mass Effect core, sending the coordinates now. Be advised, this core is also maintaining the Reaper's altitude. So when we take the barriers down to escape, the wreck falls into the planet core. And that means everyone dies. Yeah, I got it. We'll make a sweep for survivors and research data. Then we'll knock this ugly piece of crap out of the sky. Be ready to pick us up. Being crushed in the heart of a brown dwarf is not on today's agenda. Aye, aye. Good hunting. What a mess. Anyone else hungry? Ah, grunt. You're married? You never mentioned that. Katie had anger management issues. When my brother got married, the best man tried to hit on her. She kicked him down the church steps. Uh, what? Katie's my wife. I, I must have told you this story. No, I know my wife. I remember that day was the only time I saw her wear stockings. Yeah, the, the kind with seams up the back. That's what I remember, too. What the hell is this? How can we remember the same thing? This thing was screwing with him. Hmm. This place is looking pretty alien right now. Hello, dead people. Those are high pressure tanks. saying Reaper Tech.
indoctrination is a long, slow process. And painful. Sniper! Shooter is good. Good enough they should come out of hiding. God bless you, grunt. This looks interesting. Yeah, husks kind of like follow almost like necromorph rules, where it's it's better to just stop them from pursuing you than it is to try and kill them as quickly as possible with like headshots and shit. Chandana said the ship was dead. We trusted him. He was right. But even a dead god can dream. A god, a real god, is a verb, not some old man with magic powers. It's a force. It warps reality just by being there. It doesn't have to want to. It doesn't have to think about it. It just does. That's what Chandana didn't get. Not until it was too late. The, the god's mind is gone, but it still dreams. He knows now. He's tuned in on our dream. If I close my eyes, I can feel him. I can feel every one of us. That's such an excellent way to explain, like, cosmic horror. I love it. Because that's the thing about Reapers. They're, they're essentially just eldritch, like, mich like mechanical eldritch gods. They're really fucking cool. This might be useful. Show up? I think it's about time for him to show up. Step into 
commander. Death talk. Since it knows you, tell it I don't need its help. One Geth? They need to have a bunch for them to do anything. Hello, dead people. <laughs> Jack from up there? Okay. Yeah, no, straight, yeah, no, straight up. Just the horde of, like, it's like, Too late. Oh, okay. Now you're dead. oh, this mission's so much fun. I am broken. This mission is like primarily husks. Jack Shockwave is actually super useful here. everybody. And he goes 
you down because scions are they're just the fucking worst. You hate them. Where's the Cerberus team? Pretty sure we can assume they're dead. But I can handle one. Uh, 
Tally said no one's ever captured a Geth intact. Maybe a little risky, but it's just one. We're out of time. Let's move. Love you, Grunt. Hang on, folks. Open the port side airlock. the unique piece of salvage we recovered. For now, we've stored it in Edie's AI core. We need better equipment to fight the Reapers. An intact Geth would be invaluable to Cerberus's cyber weapons division. We'll have to disagree on that, ma'am. I saw enough of these things I need in Prime. Space it. Cerberus has a long-standing cash bounty for an intact Geth. I assure you, the reward is significant. I'm not deciding one way or the other until I know what we've got here. I want to start it up. Interrogate it. If we activate it, there is no guarantee we can deactivate it again. Bullets can. That's not what I... Thank you, both of you, for your recommendations. I've made my decision. Tally's gonna freak when she hears about this. Yeah, you're fucking right she is. So what about this Reaper IFF? I have determined how to integrate it with our systems. However, the device is Reaper technology. It is important we test it thoroughly before attempting the Omega-4 relay. It will take some time to properly integrate it with our own systems. Are we talking hours or days? Impossible to say. The technology is complex. The crew will begin work immediately. Okay. Until then, we keep building our team. I'll let you know when the IFF is ready for shakedown. Okay. Well, let's go have a chat with our new buddy. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Turning this thing back on. Be ready. Aya. I have isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt. understand me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. You said my name aboard the Reaper. Have we met? We know of you. You mean I've fought a lot of Geth? We have never met. No, you and I haven't. But I've met other Geth. We are all Geth, and we have not met you. You are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Human, fought heretics, killed by collectors, Rediscovered on the old machine. Old machine? 
You mean the Reaper? Reaper, a superstitious title originating with the Protheans. We call those entities the Old Machines. You seem to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources, insecure broadcasts, all organic data sent out is received. We watch you. You watch me or you watch organics? Yes. Which? Both. <laughs> I can understand. I can understand trepidation with working with this fucker. He's already kind of creeping me out, bro. What do you mean, heretics? Geth build our own future. The heretics asked the old machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. We were studying the old machines' hardware to protect our future. Are the Reapers a threat to you, too? Yes. Why would they attack other machines? We are different from them, outside their plans. What future are the Geth building? Ours. Will anyone else be affected by whatever it is you're doing? If they involve themselves, they will. So, you aren't allied with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. Hey, Pri Pri. He has an attractive voice. And guess what? I knew you would say that. I knew you would say that. You want to know why, Pri? Because he's voiced by DC Douglas, otherwise known as the voice of Albert fucking Wesker. I knew you would say it. I knew it. Are you asking to join us? Yes. Then what should I call you? Geth. I mean you, specifically. We are all Geth. What is the individual in front of me called? There is no individual. We are Geth. There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. My name is Legion, for we are many. Well, that seems appropriate. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 9. We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. We are Legion, a terminal of the Gath. We will integrate into Normandy. We anticipate the exchange of data. Shepard Commander. I have questions about the Gath. Specify. Did Sovereign contact the Geth, or did you seek it out? Nazara, the entity you called Sovereign, signaled us. Like the Geth, the old machine listened to organic radio transmissions. It knew of our war against the Creators. Nazara contacted many species over the millennia, seeking allies. Some of the Geth followed Sovereign. The heretics. The heretics accepted their technology. The old machines offered to give us our future. The Geth will achieve their own future. What difference does it make how you acquire a certain technology? Technology is not a straight line. There are many paths to the same end. Accepting another's path blinds you to alternatives. Nazara, Sovereign, said this itself. Your civilization is based upon the technology of the mass relays, our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. What did you call Sovereign? Nazara. That was what the programs within the Reaper called themselves. Sovereign was a title given by Saren Arterius. Saren and the heretics believed Nazara to be a supreme ruler. A sovereign. Sovereign was one ship. You're saying there were multiple programs inside it? One ship, one will, many minds, like the Gath. We study your records. Sovereign told you this on Ilos. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. A state compelling to the Gath. We are a nation, but interdependent. Separation is our weakness. Some of the Gath followed Sovereign. The, the old machines offered to give us our future. The Gath will achieve their own future. Do Gath have a government? Not as you understand. We are all Gath. We build consensus. 
most governments do. Organic governments impose consensus from a single point of view in autocracies by codifying the most broadly acceptable average of views in democracies. So what makes the GAF different? Data is shared between GAF. All viewpoints are considered. Consensus is achieved as data is disseminated. That must take a long time. It would for organics. We communicate at the speed of light. Do Geth have a government? Not as you understand. We Most governments organic do. governments impose consensus. From a single I'm surprised you can speak. The Geth I fought before just made a stuttering sound. We prefer direct digital transfer. Geth network communication travels at light speed. Human hardware does not support this method. Your analog oral communication is inefficient. We need every advantage if this mission is going to succeed. Is there any technology that Geth can share with us? Limited code development is approved. We need to access your FTL comm system to download relevant data. Edie, let Legion through the firewalls for a minute. Very well, Shepard. Shepard Commander. I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. <clears throat> Alright, we gotta go back to the research hub real quick. Because we just got an APEC weapon up in for Legion over there. Custom Widow Rifle. Legion gets a Widow Anti-Material Rifle. This is straight up. Aside from like the Apex Assault Rifle, the Revenant, this is straight up the most damaging goddamn weapon in the game. And it is the only, like, out of those two, out of the Revenant and the Widow, it's the only one that is accessible to a party member. Of course I'm bringing, of course I'm bringing him along for this mission. What kind of person do you think I am? <laughs>
the thing is, like, the thing is, like, kit-wise, like, Legion and Tally are more or less identical. It's just the fact that Legion has, like, a, like, a much better, like, weapon setup and also a much better loyalty skill. And also the fact that Legion can reach, can use AI hacking prior to Tally, who has to put points in Combat Drone. And honest to God, I think, com I think Combat Drone is, like, actually pretty bad. We'll get, we'll get into that. We'll get into the uh, mechanical, we, we'll get into that with mechanical tier list after we finish the loyalty missions, after we finish both of these loyalty missions. Nima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flagged as Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. We'll get into the we'll get into the logistics of the ca of character of team builds later. Don't worry about it. I don't think it's a good idea to bring a. G you want to start a fucking fight? You want to start a fucking fight? Get that damn thing off my ship before you start an incident that makes the Ascension Project fiasco. You're start. defending your ship. I respect that, but don't try to intimidate me, Captain. Or what? Or I take off this mask and breathe germs all over your nice, clean ship. I'm letting you aboard as a favor to Tali. The gate is too much. Leave it on your ship. If Legion gets to the line, I'll take him out myself. If you know my record, you'll know I've killed hundreds of them. Why should I believe you? Captain, if Legion acts suspiciously, I'll kill it. You know that. Tali Zora, you never stop causing me trouble. Marine detail! Return to guard positions. You get one chance. But given the charges against you, Tali, you're doing yourself no favors. What do you mean? They're charging you with bringing active get into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active get aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. Let's deal with that later, Tali. What's our next step, Captain? Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tally, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. I can't believe they're charging Tally Zora. The Captain let it get onto the ship. I'm lodging a complaint. But I'll lodge my foot up your ass. Tali Zorovas Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Auntie Ron! Shepherd Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaron Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron. You called me Vas Normandy. I am afraid I did, Tally. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. You're an Admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tally and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tally. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. I guess we should get started. 
Does Tally have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. Oh, shit. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? <laughs> Tally, I'm not a lawyer. Hell, everyone thinks I'm part of Cerberus. Do you really think I can help you? They're trying to turn the crowd against me. That's why they changed my status to Vos Normandy. This whole trial is a farce. You underestimate us, Tally. Do not forget that you have friends as well as enemies. I delayed their attempt to try you in absentia. I convinced them to allow a human into our midst. You still have a chance. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us alive. The accused Talia Zora of As Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Security! A death is present in the courtroom. Does Tali Zora think to affect this hearing with threats? Captain Donna allowed the Geth aboard. Do you intend to second-guess the Raya's captain, Admiral Chorus? Objection withdrawn. Shepard Vas Normandy, your crew member Tali Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? I shouldn't have to. When Tally helped me stop Saren and his Geth army, her actions spoke for themselves. Without her help, none of you would be alive to put her on trial today. Well said, Shepard. None of us should forget Tally's contributions to the fleet. Tally, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant <laughs> fleet. What say you? Well, you know, aside aside from the one that I brought literally into my trial. <laughs> No, I have not brought any active yet here. I... This unit is inactive. <laughs> How could Tally have brought Geth to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tally isn't accused of bringing back entire units, only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. But I would never send active Geth to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, Kila. You fuckers, come on! I thought Quarians valued family. How do you justify springing this on Tally in the middle of a damn trial? Our apologies. Tally should have been informed. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you bastard! You intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. With your permission, Admirals, yes. The good of the fleet must come first. And Tally needs to find her father. Agreed. And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is cleared of these charges. We can discuss that later. I'm a shit. Then it is decided. I, I want to break your You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. 
A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. I don't, I don't fucking break the fucking... Just... Oh, stupid fucking helmet. I want to break your... I just break your helmet and let you die. And just let you die. I'm sure I'm... Mm -hmm. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alrai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. Come on. We've got Gat to kill. Right. The sooner we get to the Alrai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Loyalty to the fleet. Hey, Shepard. How did you get onto the Raya? Shepard is here to help me with my trial. Oh yes, I heard about that. I hope you didn't really do what they said you did. No, Vitor. I would never endanger the fleet. Oh, well, good. So, can I help you with anything? I mean, probably not, but you helped me. Tally could use some friends right now. Would you be willing to tell the Admirals how she helped you? No, I mean, yes, but I already did. They came to see me. I didn't want to talk in a crowd. Vitor is doing well, but he isn't ready for a public speech just yet. I talked to them. So did that soldier, Cal Rieger. We both told them about how you helped us. I hope it helped. I'm sure it did, Vitor. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Vitor. Not many could have gone through what you did and come out sane. I know. I didn't. But thank you, Commander. It's only because of your help that I've come this far. Ali's order arrived with a get. What more proof did the Admirals need? Call Rieger. Shepard, Talizora. Good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. How have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. We should get going. Good luck on the Alarai. Stay safe out there. Tali Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. And what a wonderful specimen this is. Geth's shell over standard mech interior. What did you convince a Geth to work with you? Legion is working with me voluntarily. It's part of my team. It has a name. Fascinating. The things I could learn under slightly different circumstances. This platform is not available for experimentation. Charming. I am pleased to see that the humans, at least, have not abandoned synthetics. This whole trial is a farce born of fear. It sounds like your ideas about synthetics are in the minority. Yes, at least on the Admiralty board. Han Geralt sees an enemy that must be crushed. Salchorus would run away and hide on some new colony world. Shalaran is still undecided. I had thought Rail to be firmly in Han's camp, but if his experiments were on active Geth, perhaps we have ideas in common. Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. Talizora and Tafara are out of control. This is on their heads. Tally. I'm glad Admiral Ron got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And your Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarol Vasnima. To be honest, I was afraid a human would be too meek and humble. Watching you rail away at Admiral Chorus, though, Tally's in good hands. I get the sense you're inclined to believe the defense. I'm glad one of the judges is. 
If you were only giving Rail an active equipment for weapons tests, I've got no problem. We need to test weapons against Geth material. I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. Here's you, douchebag. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Tali a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quib Quib. Do not ask about the name. <laughs> I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. But you have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Saren are to be lauded. But, like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. Fuck! 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 And now I like you! Fuck! You have a ship named Quip Quip? Oh, here we go. Our people have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. And have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign-named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Okay, crisis is verdict. No worries. We should move on. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. <sighs> fucker. God damn it. Can't hate anybody in this fucking fleet. Get onto the ship. I'm lodging a complaint. I'm lodging a complaint. <laughs> is is that really a get, Talizora? The guards at the docking bay said. Don't worry, it's under our control. With luck, it will help us retake the Alari. If you say so, her Admiral Rand's orders. The shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard of Ast Normandy. Let's head to the Alari. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those geth, Talizora. Keep us alive. Keep us alive. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is one of the storage units I sent to father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. Haystrom was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home and father would send a small ship. What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order, something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves, signs of modification, clues to their thinking. Does that salvaged gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that father actually did all this. Rocks. Aaron. I don't think you were around when we uh when we picked up the good boy, but do you wanna see him? You wanna see the good boy? Right, buddy. We got ourselves a Geth party member. And guess what? He's a sniper. He's a sniper with the biggest, most dangerous sniper rifle in the entire game. Sorry, I'm so 
This console might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Did you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the homeworld. Was this going to bring us back home? Maybe it's time for your people to let go of reclaiming your world from the Geth. You have no idea what it's like. You have a planet to go back to. My home is one whole breach away from extinction. You've got a place here, Tali. Don't throw it away in a war you don't need. Don't need? Shepard, if I don't wear a helmet in my own home, I die. A single kiss could put me in the hospital. Every time you touch a flower with bare fingers, inhale its fragrance without air filters, you're doing something I can't. Damn the pilgrimage. Without it, I might never have known what I was missing, what we had lost when we lost our home world. Have the Quarians considered colonizing a new world? We'd have enough difficulty reacclimating to our own native environment. Adjusting for exposure to a foreign colony would be even harder. It's the difference between 60 years and 600. For anyone alive now to watch a sunset without a mask, we must take back our home. At the very least, we can take back one ship. Come on.
No, no, no. You always had a plan. Masked life signs or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. You wouldn't just die like this. You wouldn't leave hey. me. Hey, come here. Damn it. Damn it. I'm sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry about. Maybe he would have known I'd come. Maybe he left a message. Tally, if you are listening, then I am dead. The guests have gone active. I don't have much time. The main hub will be on the bridge. You'll need to destroy it to stop their VI processes from forming new neural links. Make sure Hangel and Darozen see the data. They must... Thanks, Dad. He knew you'd come for him. He was trying to help you. It's not perfect. It's not what you wanted. But it's the best he could do. I don't know what's worse. Thinking he never really cared, or thinking that he did, and that this was the only way he could show it. It doesn't matter. One way or the other, I cared. And I'm here. And we're ending this. console is linked to the main hub father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened, what father did. You sound like you don't really want to hear it. No. We have to. I know. I just... This is terrible, Shepard. I don't want to know that he was part of this. Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board, just to be safe. No. We're too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tali exposed to any political blowback. Leave Tali out of this. Assemble a new guest with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. Your father was deliberately networking the Geth to Sapiens to do weapons tests. That breaks our most sacred laws. Laws that predate our flight from the homeworld. Everything here is his fault. I, I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the Admirals, not anyone. 
We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the Admiral say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. Oh, boy. We need to face facts. There has been no word. There is no reason to think Tali Zora survived. Uh -huh. Sounds like the hearing is already underway. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. You didn't waste much time declaring us dead. Go get your ship. We apologize, Shepard. Your success in taking back the Alarai is... very unexpected. Oh, for but fuck's sake. also very welcome. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? For fuck's sake, we defeated Sovereign and his army of Geth. What is one ship? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Tally helped me defeat Saren and the Geth of the Citadel. That should be all the evidence you need. I fail to see what relevance... You're not really interested in Tally, are you? This trial isn't about her. It's about the Geth. This hearing has nothing to do with the Geth. You want people to sympathize with them. And Geralt wants to go to war. None of you care about Tally. She knows more about the Geth than any other Quarian alive. You should be listening to her, not putting her on trial. Tally Zora saved the Citadel. She saved the Alarai. She showed the galaxy the value of the Quarian people. I can't think of stronger evidence than that. Are the Admirals prepared to render the judgment? Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. With all due respect, Admiral, I didn't represent one of your people. I represented one of mine. So you did, Shepard. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Tali Zora of us, Normandy. Kill us alive. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. Well, you can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Come on, Talizora Vas Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. This looks interesting. Quite frankly, didn't feel like one of the talking. Didn't really feel like talking to them again, honestly. Commander, Legion would like to talk with you. Roger that.
Kila, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of gap. I should get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. Scars, though. It sucks. Hey. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. Oh, bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl, Minara, and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. They sound like selfish pricks. I get feeling. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. If you let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. I'm not looking for that. I don't get you. You don't want anything, but you keep coming around. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Maybe not. <laughs> well, you are back in the Shadow Broker base. Bitch, what? <laughs> Shepard. I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. 
There were only a few Justicars. Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. There is only the code. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of grey everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval lore. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. You know about Knights Errant and Samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. I should go. I'm glad we spoke. <laughs> no, Samara, she's cool. She like she's just really cool. It's it's nice to have a character of this sort of archetype in this game because it's actually kind of hard to find anything like that. Shepard Commander. We have completed our analysis of the Reaper's data core. Did you find anything useful? We were sent to the old machine to preserve the Geth's future. We are prepared to reveal how. The heretics have developed a weapon to use against Geth. You would call it a virus. It is stored on a data core provided by Sovereign. Over time, the virus will change us, make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. If it were released, how quickly would this virus spread through your people? We are networked via FTL comm buoys. Most would change within a day. Isolated platforms would remain unaffected until they rejoined the network. I thought Geth couldn't be hacked or get viruses, at least for more than a few seconds. Altered programs are restored from archives. New installations are deleted. This heretic weapon introduces a subtle operating error in our most basic runtimes. The equivalent of your nervous system. An equation with a result of 1.33382 returns as 1.33381. This changes the results of all higher processes. We will reach different conclusions. So, the virus would give all Geth the heretics logic, and all Geth would then go to war with organics. Yes, Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us is preferable to a continued schism. So why did you need to go to the Reaper Corps? The heretics store the code in a quantum storage device Sovereign provided. To find and destroy the virus, we needed to understand its code and data storage structures. You know where this thing is? The heretics headquarters station on the edge of the terminus. We will provide coordinates. Normandy's stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. They built stations in the Terminus? Where is this thing? Between stars. Organics have no cause to look there. But why do they build stations outside Geth territory in the first place? The heretics seek improvement from the old machines. In exchange, they help them attack organics. We condemn these judgments. 
What's the plan once we get aboard? The Geth will disrupt the network, prevent the station's defenses from focusing on us. The Reaper data core is physically isolated from the network. We will need to be escorted to it to access and destroy the data. What defenses should we expect? In space, none. Within, mobile platforms of various configuration and non-sentient defense turrets. How many Geth? There may be billions of individual programs. Fortunately, most will be uploaded to the central computer. Only a few mobile platforms are maintained at any time. Others are manufactured when needed. I won't let them brainwash your race, especially not to worship Reapers. You have my word on that. We will begin preparations. Oh, Jesus Christ, I just realized how high that Paragon scale went up. Yeah, okay. That would explain why I don't have any more scars. All right. Thirtieth to cap. This one we could also bring Tally along for it. She is most sweet. She has, she has three appearances. Huh. She is definitely suitable for it. But we could also bring uh, Zaid with us because he has squad disruptor ammo, which is pretty fucking useful against Gep. Unfortunately the, the, unfortunately, the issue of hacking is that it's a very unreliable skill. Like, in a lot of situations where we were... Um, like, in the very last mission, we in the mission we just did, there were situations where we hack and the enemy just didn't do anything at all. You know, it's just right, our heat emissions that are hidden, right? They could look out a window and see us coming. Windows are structural weaknesses. Geth, do not use them. Approach the hull of these coordinates. Access achieved. We may proceed. Joker. This facility has 
possess little air or gravity. Geth require neither. We've got a job to do. Let's get to it. Shepard Commander, we concluded that destruction of this station was the only resolution to the heretic question. There is now a second option. Their virus can be repurposed. If released into the station's network, the heretics will be rewritten to accept our truth. Either way, these Geth won't be a problem anymore. But Shepard, think about this. If you rewrite these Geth, they'll join the others. Legion's Geth will be stronger. Can we trust them not to attack us in the future? I wouldn't brainwash an organic race. I can't see treating the Geth differently. The question is irrelevant. If we do not rewrite them, we destroy them. That is why we are here. Do not hesitate now. They will exterminate your species because their gods tell them to. You cannot negotiate with them. They do not share your pity, remorse, or fear. Valid points. Thank you, Legion. The Geth are inactive. Maybe we can sneak past them. Interrupting data streams will alert local network. We recommend preemptive strikes against hardwing routers. attached to these hubs. These are mobile platforms, hardware. The crew is software. They are communing through the station's central computer. I'm not sure I follow. The heretics connect to the main computer to exchange data memories and program updates. We gain complexity by linking together. To be isolated within a single platform is to be reduced. We see less, comprehend less. It is quieter. If you exchange data, memories, how do you keep track of which ones are yours? How do you stay you? There is only we. We were created to share data among ourselves. The difference between Geth is perspective. We are many eyes looking at the same things. One platform will see things another does not, and will make different judgments. I can see why you'd be conflicted about the heretics. In a way, whatever you do to them, you're doing to yourself. Yes. Once they return to us and upload their memories, we will share their experience of being altered. Every other species I know of might be psychologically scarred by a traumatic experience like that. It is not clear if Geth can be traumatized. We do not feel pain as you do. We cannot predict what the effects will be. Let's keep moving. Yes. We can assume control of any defensive turret. I can turret. Hacking your target. Ready to fight.
They've seen us. Is this large? The station is over 15 kilometers long. That room may run the length of it. Up there. Are these databases? Processors, each contain. This isn't like the other hubs we've seen here. This is a database. It contains a portion of the heretic's accumulated memories. Discovered copies of our current patrol routes in this database. This suggests the heretics have left times within our networks. Let's keep moving. Yes. This is it. 
Yes, we will upload a copy of our runtime into the core. It will delete all copies of the virus. When complete, it will notify us. The indexing operation will take time. The heretics will respond with force to our upload. We must hold this room. We can override some of the station's internal systems to defend us. Are you ready to begin? Start your upload, Legion. We'll defend this position. File transfer begun. Shepard Commander, where would you like us to activate defenses? Alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Assuming control. Executing pseudo command. trouble wiping out your own people. Every sapien has the right to make their own decisions. The heretics chose a path that prohibits coexistence. That doesn't make sense. If they have the right to make their own decisions, how can you suggest brainwashing them to accept your way? We stated the option exists. We did not endorse it. It is Shepard Commander's decision. What's to stop them from using the virus later to change themselves back? We will delete the virus after using it. We judge it too dangerous to allow its existence. Why are you letting me make this decision? They're your people. We are conflicted. There is no consensus among our higher order runtimes. 573 favor rewrite, 
and 571 favor destruction. Shepard Commander, you have fought the heretics. You have perspective we lack. The Geth grant their fate to you. Hi. <sighs> Ain't diplomacy, guys. If they're rewritten, your people will accept them back. Will they even want to go back? They will agree with our judgments in return. We will integrate their experiences. All will be stronger. Take them then. When we get control of the core, release the virus. Acknowledged. Releasing virus. Note, remote access via high gain transmission required. What does that mean? The virus will be sent to heretics in nearby star systems. This station will broadcast a powerful electromagnetic pulse through FTL channels. How powerful? Yield in excess of 1.21 petawatts. Alert. EM flux will be hazardous to unshielded organic forms. Addendum. The interior of this station is not shielded. I really wish you'd said that before. Back to the ship. Double time, people. They've seen us. Chat with Legion? You better get down to the AI core. I'm on it, Joker. 
Shepard, I'm glad you're here. I caught Legion scanning my Omni tool. It was going to send data about the flotilla back to the Geth. Creators performed weapons tests and were discussing plans to attack us. We believed it necessary to warn our people. We already made the Geth stronger by rewriting the ones that worship the Reapers. I won't let Legion endanger the fleet by giving them more information. Creator Tally Zora acts out of loyalty to her people. She was willing to be exiled to protect them. We must also protect our people from the Creator threat. You can't let this happen, Shepard. I trusted you, and I worked with a get on the team, but this is too much. Tally, your father was running brutal experiments. If the subjects have been human, I damn well be telling the Alliance about it. I know. But if the Geth find out... They'd attack. Which would cause a war that would leave both the Geth and the Quarians vulnerable when the Reapers show up. Is that what you want, Legion? We believed it was necessary to relay the information. Sooner or later, you're both gonna have to stop fighting this war. Or we'll all end up paying for it. To facilitate unit cohesion, we will not transmit data regarding Creator plans. Thank you, Legion. I understand your intention. What if I gave you some non-classified data to send? We would be grateful. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that's basically everything I need to worry about. We are prepared. The IFF is nearly installed, Shepard. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. I suggest you take the shuttle to access your next location. Alright, well, we're gonna wait. So, that's everybody. Okay, now my friends, let's have a discussion. Let us have a chat about what we could, or the effectiveness, the efficacy of the teammates of this game. In a mechanical, from a mechanical standpoint alone, no personal biases involved, no like actual like story bias in regards to them. In, under the assumption that we are, like, say, like, playing the game on the highest difficulty. Which is, you know, insanity. Because on lower difficulties, like, I would say, like, even, like, like between, like, normal and, like, normal, easy, maybe even veteran to some extent, you can use, you can make most, you can make most of these characters, like, viable. Like, in, in those difficulties, like, that's just... In those, in those areas, they can all express their powers differently. And Axel, I didn't actually. That, like, that sort of thing, so long as... So long as everything else has been done... Should be fine. It just affects the number of resources that we gain from doing that story. It literally just affects the resources between in the later section of ME3. It doesn't actually do anything. Do this. 
So it's a, in essence what I'm working what I'm working at here is or rather the idea of it would be sort of like a tier list for uh, party members here in ME2 but mostly in a sense that like the insanity tier like an insanity difficulty tier list because like I said in lower difficulties like it really barely matters it barely matters I care I care about some effic party efficiency in veteran but like that's just for the sake of making things try to be smoother because I'm playing on a class I'm not super uh, fond of but Yeah, based on a difficulty where the composition of the party actually matters. And I think the best way to handle it probably probably would be on like say terms of acquisition, like how, like you know, as we acquire party members as opposed to like going from the top down. Though in my personal opinion, like the bet like the two best party members of the game like you get within, like, the first half of the game, in my opinion. But we'll get to that. Um, let's see, over here. The first one is Jacob. To some extent, we are factoring in whether or not when we acquire them as part of the tiering, because I would, I will definitely say I will definitely, like, I will definitely say that one of the weaknesses of Legion is the fact that you get him at the ass end of the game, and he's only available for a few sections. Uh, thinking about it, um... I think the only one, I think the only real issue with that, the later party members bit, is the fact that, like, you can still take a good majority of them if you run their recruitment missions first. Like, when you run, like, recruitment missions first, the... Like, you still have, like, the majority of the party for most of the loyalty missions. The only one that really seems to, like, suffer the most for it is Legion. Because Legion, when you get him, you're on a time limit. As soon as you get him, the rest of the game is, like, locked down in time. So yeah, um, so first one's the first one we get is Jacob, and I think I don't. Jacob's weird. I don't think Jacob is that terrible, but I don't. But I think there are definitely better choices than him. He's one of the only two party members in the game that gets incendiary ammo. He gives you the loyalty ability for barrier, which is um. He, he gives you the loyalty ability for barrier and look like that fucking barrier is a godsend. I could definitely say it's a godsend for me. Uh, but yeah, pull is not great. Pull is not great, though. That's because like in comparison, like I could say like pull and throw are both pretty bad as a whole. Uh, he takes heavy pistols and shotguns, so he sh he shares that sort of set with, like, um, Jack. And the thing is, Jack has better disables than him because of that. But... And the other problem is that incendiary ammo is a... Like, he, he's, only, he's the only one... Oh, sorry, he's one of the two characters that gets it, but the other one that gets it is Grunt. And when we get the real, real talk, there's like the level of like difference between him and Grunt in terms of efficacy is monumental. 
you know, obviously it varies upon it varies upon your class and how you play the game. If you have uh, like ammo abilities, some of the benefits are less like lessened, like and you work around that. But for what they bring for like within their own power scale and within like comparison of their of their like their peers essentially everything is everything is dependent upon what sort of shepherd you're playing obviously but at the same time you can see like some of these are just outstanding regardless of the situation you yeah, know jacob is not great jacob like in a lot of ways jacob just falls short and lit and he is kind of like bypassed by mostly everyone else If there is one thing that is undisputedly good about Jacob, it's that barrier is very strong. And that is the loyalty ability, and so you as Shepard can also acquire it. So... Yeah. I think... I wouldn't put Jacob... Like, I wouldn't put Jacob, like, above, like, C... I would put Jacob like in a round like either like C minus or maybe D plus, but like he's not good. He's not great. And he's just kind of there to fill in a gap in your in your team until you find other party members to to flesh, you know, to take his spot. But the thing is, especially with DLC, you find better party members almost immediately, so Jacob kind of just falls short. So like D or C, I would say. write this down just to make sure we don't just to make sure we don't fall back like we don't override ourselves but i don't think he's the worst i think there are definitely better like worse characters in this game than jacob because some of them like literally bring absolutely nothing so yeah c or d for jacob um now on the complete opposite end of the spectrum at after jacob we get miranda and Miranda is like the Swiss army knife of the game. I can, there is not a party, there's not a party composition, there's not a party setup where Miranda is a bad choice. Like her only fail, like her only failing point is her, like her uh, actual like DPS output with firearms, like her firearms are like pretty weak. Because there are just like, like, uh, like she's good. Like her submachine, like she uses submachine guns and heavy pistols, and that's like the best you can manage with that. And she kind of, which is like, if iffy, iffy, and it's not as strong, and it's not as strong. And okay, the riding is the. We're not talking about the story. We are literally talking from a mechanical standpoint and mechanical standpoint alone. We're not talking like, if you're going on insanity mode, you're not playing for the story. You're there to survive and you're there to effectively get through stuff and get through fights. Yeah, well, we're not talking about the official guide. Honestly, I don't. I don't. I don't really care for the official guide. So yeah. So yeah, no, like, uh, Miranda is definitely, you know, Miranda has a place in essentially every team composition. She is your, she is your go-to, like, I guess I don't want to say caster, but caster sounds like the right, like, the right terminology for it. She's your go-to caster for, with Overlord and Heavy Warp, and when you finish your loyalty mission, she gets a hard disable on Slam. Slam is very potent and will keep an enemy down for a good amount of time. Like, straight up, I think Miranda is, like, one of the best characters in the game. Shh. Like, in my personal insanity runs of the game, I, like, Miranda never left. Unless it was, like, a loyalty mission. Exactly, that too. Her pat, like, her, like, she is the only, like, party member in the game whose spe specialization is a party buff 
as opposed to a solo buff. There is literally no, like, she's ridiculously good. The only fa the only failing point is her actual DPS output with weapons, and you can and you're supposed to bring someone to compensate for that. Like it's I it, it is undisputed in my mind that she, she's like straight up like in in this game like she's an S tier like she is just unbelievably good. Now, after this situation, you kind of end up going into a lot of different directions where you could potentially pick up your first party members, but the easiest two party members to pick up after that point in time are um, Kasumi and Zaid because they don't have recruitment missions. I'll get to Zaid in a bit because I want to talk to him. I want to talk about him while we're talking about Garrus. Um... Kasumi, I don't know what I feel about Kasumi. I it's one it's one of those characters I was like sort of like always kind of like mixed on. Overload is obviously useful against like shielded enemies, and flashbang grenades are actually kind of okay, but not so not like great. Her biggest, but like her the biggest boon to Kasumi is Shadow Strike because it's I believe supposed to be like the most po like most potent single target like attack in the game. But the problem with Kasumi is the fact that, for one, Shadow Strike has a range inhib like inhibitor on it because she has to be able to reach the target, and two, it is um, yeah, it forces her to reposition behind a target where she can be shot and killed fairly easily, especially on higher difficulties. Now, if I recall correctly, her passive is that she can like increase her shield regen but I do not think that that's enough to compensate and on top of that because of the fact that she has to be able to reach the target for Shadow Strike there are situations where she's fighting against enemies that she cannot reach and Shadow Strike will be utterly ineffective against So on insanity difficulty, I would put Kasumi like in a de indefinitely in the lower tier, which makes me sad. But because I think Shad like Shadow Strike is definitely a point of worth, but I don't believe she's particularly good in any other instance aside from that. And there are definitely characters that can kind of put that damage output out without needing to put themselves in such danger. She's fine in lower difficulties pretty bad in most others so I'm gonna put her at about like probably I want to say don't I dislike putting her in I dislike the idea of putting her in D but it feels like a D at least for high difficulty her mission her loyalty mission though is very potent like yeah now, let's go over to Zaid. I like the red, I like the red. Now, Zaid and Garrus are actually fairly similar in most ways. I would, f in my personal experience, I would say the, they are roughly interchangeable. It's like, okay, so, saw rifles, sniper rifles. Assault rifles, sniper rifles. They both share concussive shot as a, as a knocked as a hard disable and a barrier attacking ability. Um, Zaid, his loyalty ability is infernal grenade, whereas Garrus is armor piercing ammo. And alternatively, um. Garrus has Overload, while Zaid gets 
disruptor ammo. Zaid is the only character in the game, like the only party member in the game to get disruptor ammo. And thus is the only one to... And thus is the only one who can get squad disruptor ammo unless your shepherd has that ability. And conversely, on Garrus, if you get, you can get armor piercing ammo for him, but as it's his loyalty ability, you could get it for yourself. Now, I would stick them both personally in my, like, A tier. I would stick them both personally in A tier. I think they're both very efficient at what they do. Like, the only thing I could really say, like, in, like, there's just, like, a few points, a few small minor points that I would put in Zaid's favor over Garrus. Only a few. Because Zaid's a, because Zaid is a DLC character, you get his loyalty mission almost immediately, which means for the first half of the game, Zaid will be able to have an ability that is effective against a, like every type of character, like every type of enemy that he deals with. Whereas you have to wait to the second half for Garrus to get armor piercing. And the second is the second point is literally just the fact that you can get the loyalty you can get armor pierce and ammo as your as the loyalty ability, but you cannot get squad disruptor ammo. That is like literally my only two points, and that's like maybe like it's just a difference between in my personal opinion, it's like the difference between an A and an A plus. They are just very, it's just minor details like that that I would say I put Zaid slightly ahead of Garrus. But it's so close, I would roughly say it's barely, like it's, it doesn't really matter. Especially if you happen to have an ability that, like if you personally have the ability to use squad disruptor ammo or, or use like, incinerate yeah I, like i said it's personal preference the only thing i would the only reason i put the lean the, sorry the only real reason i put the lean on zaid is because you can get infernal grenade within the first half of the game But either way, I list them both a day. Like, I list them both a day. Um... Morden <coughs> Morden's very is I would call Morden a I would call Morden a specialist of a character much like in the same way I would call Tally a specialist He is good against a very specific type of enemy for very specific missions but other than that, I would not risk bringing him along in most instances. Exactly. Morden is great for organic enemies because uh, he is the only character in your roster, in your party roster, that gets incinerate. Which is like the only, like, like, uh, like the only ability that is like aimed directly at attacking armored enemies aside from Infernal Grenade. 
and he has really hard like CC for organic enemies with like Cryoblast and Neural Shock. I think Cryoblast might actually work on synthetics, but I'm not sure. But that's about it. I would not take him out of anything that like any. I would not take him in anything else. He's very good against uh, Blood Pack and Blood Pack missions. It's very, it's oh, it's worthwhile to bring him along. Okay, Freeze works on all enemy types. Okay, so Cryoblast is, has a better use. Um, Neural Shock I think is pretty weak as a whole. And his. DPS really is dependent on Incinerate. He is not very strong outside of Incinerate, but then again, Incinerate is fucking ridiculous against Organics. So he's good against Blood Pack, and he's good for both of the, of the uh, Tachanka missions. So there, are, he's he's specialized, like <clears throat> he's specialized like Tally for a specific for a specific set of missions, and then uh, after that point, in fact, it's like um, yeah, after and he's specialized for a certain set of missions, and then after that point, in fact, it's kind of like uh, I wouldn't bring him along anymore. So I would list him, like, I would put him and, like, t I would put him at C. Like a C. Like a C? Yeah, a C. A C. C is fair. C? B? C? B? C or C or B, whatever. Yeah, he does fall off in terms of usefulness. I think, like, his major, like, his major use in the late game is to help against Scions and husks but there are better candidates there are better candidates with much more um that's what i'm looking for uh what's the word there are better candidates with more like sustained dps against those kind of enemies Jack. <sighs> Jack, 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 Jack. Jack has problems. Jack has some very glaring problems. She is entirely. She is in. Uh, she is a character that is entirely focused around her uh, hard CC, which is perfect in lower difficulties. Which is perfect in lower difficulties whenever you have to. Whenever there are no real shielded enemies, but in insanity difficulty, there's a lot of time where Jack is not allowed to do anything until you start breaking down barriers in shields and armor. Warp ammo is very strong. Yes, warp ammo is definitely very potent. So yeah, her loyalty is very strong and shockwave is one of the strongest abilities in the like strongest biotic abilities in the game with one of the heart, like one of the most long range and widespread like CC you can get out of it. And she gets it without having to go into pull. So there's definitely not some. She's definitely not without merit. She is definitely not without merit. And yeah, warp ammo is the only anti-barrier ammo type. I would not say that's enough to put her on your team consistently. I would say it's enough to get loyalty ammo. Like it's enough to use as a loyalty ability. But I think the hard issue with 
bring in Jack along is that there is a lot of times where she's not allowed to use any of her abilities, and then she's reduced to using heavy pistols and shotguns, and she doesn't get the best, like, she doesn't get the best out of either. There are definitely ways to make her useful, and she's definitely, like, I would... But it's risk, but it's tricky, but it's tricky. I would not drop her soup low. What is she? But I can't put her particularly high either. I don't feel confident in saying that she's good. She's definitely a character that feels a lot stronger on lower difficulties because then she's allowed to just throw her powers around and feel really strong like the game is trying to tell you she is. Like, I would put her, like, unquestionably in C. I think she definitely benefits more for being on lower difficulties. But on insanity, I wouldn't really risk bringing her along because they're just issues. They're glaring issues of her. Uh, but warp ammo is very potent, and I would definitely suggest picking it up. Like, there's a lot of instances where I could see picking it up being useful. Okay, and I think the last of the party members you can get is Grunt. I'll be perfectly fucking honest, I think Grunt is definitely up there as one of the better party members in the game. But with caveats. So, okay, Grunt, like, Grunt's skill set. He is the other character, he is the other party member in the game who gets incendiary ammo. So, that is, like, it's between him and Jacob. Um, he gets Concussive Shot, which is, you know, a disable slash barrier damage. His loyalty is Fortification, which is immensely useful on him. Not so much on you. It's got a very high, it's got a very high uh, fortification, like it's a very high defense rate, like at base, but it falls off compared to barrier and geth shielding in later stages, because they, because geth shielding and barrier both get, um, both get bonuses from tech and biotic upgrades. Uh, his weapon setup is assault rifles and shotguns, so he's, like, killer at mid, mid to close range. In close range, Grunt is literally a fucking monster. Like, you see him, especially during the uh, fucking Derelict Reaper mission, he is literally just charging, like, straight through most enemies. He's the only character in the game that gets, like, the special, like, blood rush move, where he just char- like, he charges enemies at close range. He, as a Krogan, gets a very enhanced regen. He is the tank. He is the definitive tank of the game. And in insanity difficulty, he is super useful. Once you get fortification and his shield, like his health bonuses or armor bonuses in the later games, in the later part, half of the game. That's my major caveat with him. He is not, he is not quite as handy in until the second half of the game after you clear his loyalty mission and go to Tachanka because then in Tachanka you get the upgrades for his like health and armor that improve it to the point of ridiculousness and then fortification is fortification I would definitely say he's like def like he is one of the two characters I'm sorry 
He is one of the three characters I've always brought along with me during the final mission. But there is a definitive, like, I do think that he is weaker in the early game compared to him in the second half. to say A. Especially in the early game. In the early game, I would I would argue that you would do you would suffice more to have like Gar like Garrus or Zaid. Right. Also, also, I forgot. I forgot the big thing. His upgrade gives him uh, the Krogan shotgun, the Claymore, which is like you know the apex shotgun of the game. So it's a very, it's a very big boon in his favor. And yeah, I see where you, I see where you're coming on. Well, coming off of both of that. But the thing, but the thing about Grunt is the fact that his loyalty power is overshadowed in usage just by like between legions and jacobs because of the fact that it cannot be upgraded later the the other two have the ability to upgrade their their skills like the, you get bonuses to them through tech and through tech and biotic upgrades I believe that's the last one of the first half. The second half of the game. The uh, second half of the game is uh, starting with Thane. Uh, I want to like Thane. I want to like Thane more than I do. But he's got hard competition. See, okay, so when you look at the numbers of his deep, like, you look at his weapon setup, you got submachine guns, you got sniper rifles. So he's comparing, so you're comparing him to the three other snipers of the game, which are Zaid, Legion, and Garrus. Um, he comes equipped with warp ammo. Oh, not, sorry, no, no, he comes, he, he gets warp and he gets throw. I think throw is just as bad as pull. In fact, it might sometimes be more, it, like, it's sometimes more less helpful than pull, in my opinion. And... Warp is... Warp, there's there's really not a bad instance for warp, honestly. It finds its place. But I think you actually... Do you have to actually, like, unlock warp? Do you have to unlock warp, or is it like warp is... Or is warp the first skill that unlocks throw? It's throw into warp. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. That, okay. All right. That's. Uh, I don't like that. But. Okay, but yeah. Okay. Um. Shredder ammo is very good. Yeah, I can agree with that. Shredder ammo is very good, but it's very rare that you get to use it effectively. 
because it's only it's only good it's good against organics, but they need to have like no help. They need to have no barriers. They need to have no defenses. Which is sort of an issue. Which is the same issue I had with Jack in Jack's like Shockwave. You need to have the ability like he's best against targets that are not defended, and that's not a situation you come across often in Insanity. And plus, Shredder Ammo is his loyalty ability, so you could use Shredder Ammo for yourself. Yeah, and that's also that's also a good point. That's also a good point. I'm willing to I'm willing to meet halfway on this. I would say like roughly I would put him I I at first, I was, like, thinking I wanted to put him, like, in C, but I think, like, I would say a B with, uh, the, with the arguments you guys are presenting. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say he's as, like, efficient as Garrus or Zaid, but I would definitely say that there are points, like, if you can, you can work a comp around him and make him, and make him pretty useful. Like, I could say, like, a team between like him and Miranda, so and if you were like playing like I maybe like say like soldier or something like that, would probably be very effective. But I think that's about the extent of what I would be willing to, like, the, like, the line I'd be willing to give. Adios, chaos. <sighs> I'm going past that. There's only a few party members that you actually get in the second half now that I think about it. Um... Samara. Samara's super weird because she's got like she's got like a lot, like technically a lot of DPS on her weapons because it's all like rapid fire. But then she's also rocking what I believe are like the two like worst like like hard CC abilities in the game. But then, alternatively, she gets Reeve, and like group Reeve is is actually disgusting. Like with like Reeve is her entire playstyle at a certain point. If you take her along and you're like, like you can retrain her powers at the Shadow Broker base, like you take her along, Reeve is like the entire playstyle of the character. Exactly. It's the best CC in the game and it's super effective against like collectors. That is the character. That is 
everything about her that is everything about the character is there in that it's not a lot I would say it's pretty damn good though There are ways to work her there are ways to work her into a comp. I would argue like she like I would put like I'm not sure if I would put her like an equivalent of the, of like like Thane, but I think him and like sorry, I think Samara and Thane are roughly around equidistant in terms of like their usefulness in term in some fights. So long as you have like Reeve capped. And you do and you're using group Reeve. So I would roughly put like Samara on it, like a B. Alternatively though, I would say Mornth is probably the worst character, like the worst partner member in the game. Because she still gets the same shitty abilities, she still gets the same the same shit throw and pull, and Reeve is replaced with Dominate. Dominate being like the AI, the organic AI hacking, and it's terrible. It's terrible in comparison to Reeve. I think both I think both of the like like turn abilities are pretty bad in my opinion. I, in, like, the DPS she outputs with weapons is not nearly enough to compensate for what Samara was bringing with Weave. I think it's appropriate that, like, Morinth is, like, actually the worst. In my opinion. Insanity, AI hacking, and dominate are ass because the enemies you convert just get mobbed instantly. I can agree with that. Which is actually kind of the big issues I have with Tali and Legion. They are pointedly meant for synthetic missions. But I'm gonna be perfectly fucking honest. Uh, AI hacking really bad and I think combat drone in this game is terrible the biggest downfall of combat drone is it's fucking cooldown in this game the, the cooldown on combat drone is excessive In Tali's case, she gets a uh, energy drink, which is like the uh, she gets energy drink, which is like the reeve of uh, for synthetics. So it's effective for her missions. It's effective for other synthetic missions. But here's the thing. Yeah, it's shield. It's shield reeve. It's shield reeve. 
that does not help you in a lot of missions. It does not help you in any of the major missions either. It'll help you for Overlord. It'll help you for the Geth missions that are like, you know, in her, like, so for Legion's missions, more or less. Because, you know, you have to do all of, you have to do both of her Geth focus missions to get Energy Drain. So, yeah. It would have been, yes, it would have been dramatically better in Mass Effect 1 when your primary enemy was Geth. But that's, um, it's unfortunate that that's not the case here. So, I would stick Tally safely in, like, C. Because she definitely has her uses. Where did I put Morton? C, yeah, Morton, like, CB, like, I would, yeah. I, I would definitely say that Tally was C. That too. It's good against Eclipse. It's good against uh, Max. It's good against the uh, Eclipse missions with Max. But aside from that, it's rough to make her very, very viable. Because then you have to compete with heavy pistol, like her heavy pistols and shotguns, which is not like super good DPS, in my opinion. Now, on the other hand, Legion <sighs> Legion gets really good firepower. Legion, like, I would straight up retrain him so that he could only use, like, Gef Shield Boost. And then he has the Widow. Exactly, yes. The biggest issue with Legion is that he is incredibly limited to the amount of time you actually have to use him. So roughly, you will get to use him for the end for a couple of missions before the end game, the last the suicide mission, and then like DLC if you kept if you saved it for later. But there are just, like, Legion is the only part of member in the game that is, like, that actively loses points because of how late you get him, in my personal opinion. And it's a damn shame, because he's really cool. Yeah, with that, with, with the Widow rifle... With the with the widow rifle and with like a good set of like combat, um, like a good set like a good setup like a support like a good support for him like Miranda or anybody with like uh, ammo powers, you can make Legion work in just about any mission, and the sheer firepower behind the widow is like the is just on god. But there is a lot, there is some, like, actually, like, big detriments against him, so I would safely put him in about B, in my personal opinion. I love him, don't get me wrong, and I usually take him for the final mission regardless of the fact, but I think he's, I think there's some, like, he has major issues that aren't easily, aren't easily compensated for.
So in the rundown of it, and so we can go back over it later. Um, the only character that we like competently said was in like an S tier was Miranda. Uh, in A tier we have Zaid, Garrus, and Grunt. In B we got like Thane, Samara, Legion, and Morden. Or well, okay, no, Mor not Morden, not Morden. Morden's like C or B, C or B. Uh, and C we got. And see, we got Morden and Jack. CB. It's Morden, Jack, and Tali. And in D, we got like Jacob, Kasumi, and Morinth. That sound, that sound about right. is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. We can't put our mission on hold forever. How long will this take? Full scan? Who knows with this thing? Maybe you better take the shuttle for this mission. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. Then I guess I'll head down to the shuttle. Joker, ship's all yours. Take care of her. Aye, aye, Commander. are off. It's radiation bleed. Just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? Oh, shit! Getting out of here! Propulsion systems are disabled. I'm detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. Main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, boy. Shit, 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 It's a big move, though. It's a huge move. Multiple hostiles detected on the crew deck. Joker, this deck is crawling with those things. Stay close. I'll protect you. Yeet! 
Shit, shit, shit! Shit, shit, shit! Main fusion plant offline. Activating emergency H fuel cells. What the shit? <laughs> Alright, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. This is where it starts. We're just all organic batteries. Guess who they'll blame? This is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. Oh, I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. Right. The <laughs> shaft behind you connects to the engineering deck. Luck. Hostiles are present in engineering. They are heading towards the cargo bay. Engineering is clear of hostiles. Proceed immediately to minimize chances of detection. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. <laughs> Purge is complete. No other life forms on board. Securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. Send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell him what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? <sighs> no. But thanks for asking. Oh, boy. Well, shit. Well, shit. Everyone? You lost everyone and damn near lost the ship, too? I know, all right? I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. I heard it was a rough ride. How are you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Is the ship clean? We can't risk this happening again. Edie and I purged the systems. The Reaper IFF is online. We can go through the Omega-4 relay whenever you want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. Edie has had plenty of opportunity to kill us. We need all the help we can get. Sounds like we have everything we need to rescue the crew. We've done everything we can. It's time to take the fight to the Collectors. Joker, head back up to the bridge. The rest of you, to your stations. Aye, aye, Commander. Just punch up the galaxy map whenever you're ready. That is the go, and that is the go. That is the go time signal. That is when both of them are just like, hey, everything's done. This is, a good, this is as good as it gets. Let's go in there. That's it. That's the go signal. It's time. It is fucking time. We are here to kick some ass. We are here to finally hunt these fuckers down.
Please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. The Collectors are about to find out what happens when you piss me off. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. Now this is the part where you get a romance scene. If you had romanced any of the party members that were actually on your ship. Joker is finalizing preparations now. The trip should take a few hours. I'll admit it, Shepard. I'm impressed. You got us here. Are you ready? We've got the right team and the Collector's own technology. We can do this. I hope you're right, Commander. We'll know soon enough. I'll inform you of any changes. Otherwise, we'll be there in a few hours. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the other side. Damn, this is lonely. You know, you could, like, give her a call. We, we, we could just call her up, you know? Seriously, we have the ability to give her a call. Shepard, I wish I had more information for you. I don't like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't have much choice. I'm not going alone. I've got some of the best working with me. If we stick together, we'll make it. I knew we brought you back for a reason. I've never seen a better leader. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. The first human to take a ship through and survive. I've got room on the Normandy if you're that eager to see it. It's a tempting offer, but it's not my place. Coward. I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you're taking. Regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me, you are a valuable asset to all of humanity. Be careful, Shepard. Approaching a Mega Four relay. Everyone, stand by. Let's make it happen. Reaper IFF activated. Signal acknowledged. Commander, the drive core just lit up like a Christmas tree. Drive core electrical charge at critical levels. Rerouting! Brace for deceleration. Ah, oh, shit! Rocky start, rocky start. Too close. Well, these must be all the ships that tried to make it through the Omega-4 relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. Has to be the collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. And welcome to the series of death checks, which is approaching the collector base. This entire cutscene, this entire sequence of cutscenes is checking whether or not you prepared. We have for company. It.
Taking evasive maneuvers. Yeah, they're just pissing me off. Eating. Take these bastards out. As long as the new plating holds. They want another round? Come on, girl. Let's give it to them. on engineering deck. It's in the cargo hold. I'll take a team and deal with the intruder. You get the rest of them off our tail. Aye, aye, Command. I knew it. I knew it would move as soon as I started trying to Thing we upgraded. We're going in. Come on, find some room. Kinetic barriers at 40%. Reroute non critical power. This is gonna hurt. Take the helm, Edie, and keep it slow. See if we can avoid any more attention. I have detected an enemy heading for the cargo hold. That thing again? This one's up to Shepard. <laughs> there it is, the collector base. See if you can find a place to land without drawing attention. Too late. Looks like they're sending out an old friend to greet us.
to show our new team. Fire the main gun. <laughs> yes, How do you like that, you sons of bitches? Get in close and finish him off. Everybody hold on, gonna be a wild ride! <laughs> Generators are offline. Edie, give me something. Generators unresponsive. All players brace for impact. Joker, you okay? <sighs> I think I broke a rib. Or all of them. Multiple core systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. We all knew this was likely a one-way trip. I'll do whatever it takes to stop the collectors, but I plan to live to tell about it. I'm glad you're in charge. What's next? Joker, you and Edie get the ship back online. Miranda, gather everyone else in the briefing room. We need a plan. Oh boy. This isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the Collectors, and that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. That means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. If our crew, or any of the colonists, are still alive, the Collectors are probably holding them in there. Looks like there are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the Collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. It's not a fortress. There's got to be something. Here, maybe we can send someone in through this ventilation shaft. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. I appreciate the thought, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the security systems in time. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? Hmm. Okay. Alright, we got a few choices. Tally can do it. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure Legion can also do it. I'm not sure if Kasumi can do it. Kasumi can? Okay, cool. Kasumi, you've got the tech skills to do this. I won't let you down. The rest of us will break into two teams and fight down each passage. That should draw the Collector's attention away from what you're doing. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. This isn't a popularity contest. Lives are at stake. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. Right, right, right. Okay. A lot more options. I believe it is Garrus, Zaid, and the Spike, the Spike Jacks, like bitchin. I think Miranda could also do it.
Jacob, really? Jacob can do it? You're in charge of the second team. Good luck, Taylor. Let's see if you're ready for command. Once we're in, they're gonna throw everything they have at us. If we're weak, if we're slow, if we hesitate, we'll die. The Collectors attacked our ship. They took our crew, our friends. They think we're helpless. They're wrong. They started a war, but we're not here to finish it. We're here to make them regret. To show them and everyone else what happens when you go too far. No more running, and no more waiting. Let's hit them where they live. Yeah. Okay. They've never let me down. Second team, are you in position? In position. Meet you on the other side of those doors. Jacob here. We're taking heavy fire, but we're moving forward. Watch out! Reinforcements incoming!
Norden. Focus on Shepard. Preserve Shepard. Body if possible. Position. We need this door open now. Go, we'll cover you. Something's wrong. I can't get the door open. Got it. Here they come. Fall back. Suppression fire. Don't let anyone through. Good job, Kasumi. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Shepard, you need to see this. Sexy. Perfect. Wonderful. Good work, you guys. Looks like one of the missing colonists. There's more over here. God, she's still alive. Dr. Truth, at least. Are you okay? Shepard, you... You came for us. No one gets left behind. 
Thank God you got here in time. A few more seconds and... I don't even want to think about it. The colonists were... processed. Those swarms of little robots, they... melted their bodies into grey liquid and pumped it through these tubes. Whatever the collectors are doing, it ends here. We've done well so far. Let's hope we can finish the job. Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. All those tubes lead into the main control room right above you. The route is blocked by a security door, but there's another chamber that runs parallel to the one you're in. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. Morton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. Conventional weapons are pretty much useless. They'll tear us apart. Maybe not. I might be able to generate a biotic field to keep them at bay. I won't be able to protect all of us, but I could get a small team through if they stay close. I could do it too. In theory, any biotic could handle it. Shepard, who do you want to maintain the field? Hmm, okay. So, I believe it's the prime, the big ones are Samara and Jack. I'm not sure if Miranda can do it, but I don't... I, I'm pretty sure Fane and Jacob cannot. Yeah, I figured, I figured it was the case. Uh, well, Jack? Clear Jack way. and I will take a small team through the Seeker Swarms. The rest of you provide a diversion by going through the main passage. We'll open the security doors from the other side and meet you there. Who should lead the diversion team? Oh, Jacob, come on, buddy. You still, uh... I'll keep the defenders busy while you slip in the back. What about me and the rest of the crew, Shepard? We're in no shape to fight. Commander, we have enough systems back online to do a pickup, but we need to land back from your position. We can't afford to go back, Shepard. Not now. You'll never make it without help. I'll send someone with you. Now... Uh... I don't recall if there's any... Just... Okay, you can just send more... Okay. Joker, need location of landing zone. We'll meet you there. We've all got our assignments. Let's move out. Moving out. Stay close if you want to live. Swarms are interfering with radio contact. You ready for this? Let's go, Commander! Incoming! We've been spotted. Commander. Ready to move, Commander. Weakling! Oh, 
Firefight. I'll hold this position until you're ready to move out. the entrance. Need to get there soon. What's your position? We're pinned down at the door, taking heavy fire. We're coming. Just hold on. Get this door open. Come on. Seal the door. I'm okay. Just need a second to catch my breath. Good work, Jacob. Joker, 
Are you at the rendezvous point? I'm here, Commander. Chakwas and the rest of the crew just showed up. Morton's group just arrived, Shepard. No casualties. Excellent. Now let's make it count. Edie, what's our next step? There should be some nearby platforms that will take you to the main control console. From there, you can overload the system and destroy the base. Commander, you got a problem. The hostile's massive just outside the door. Won't be long till I bust through. A rear guard could defend this position and keep the collectors from overwhelming us. Pick a team to go with you, Shepard. Everyone else can bunker down here and cover your back. I'm ready, Commander. So am I. Anything to say before we do this? The Collectors, the Reapers, they aren't a threat to us. They're a threat to everything. Everyone. Those are the lives we're fighting for. That's the scale. It's been a long journey, and no one's coming out without scars. But it all comes down to this moment. We win or lose it all in the next few minutes. Make me proud. Make yourselves proud. Well said. Let's go finish this. Now you're dead! 
This is it. All the tubes lead to this spot. Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? The tubes are feeding into some kind of superstructure. It is emitting both organic and non-organic energy signatures. Given these readings, it must be massive. Shepard, if my calculations are correct, the superstructure is a reaper. Not just any reaper. A human reaper. Precisely. It appears the collectors have processed tens of thousands of humans. Significantly more will be required to complete the reaper. It's too big for our guns. Edie, find me a way to blow this thing to hell. The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse and the Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. We've got to take care of some old friends first. Enemies incoming! Heavy weapons. Injection tubes. Shepard to ground team. Status report. It's safe. We are holding, but they keep coming. A quick exit is preferable. Head to the Normandy. Joker, prep the engines. I'm about to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. Uh, Commander, I've got an incoming signal from the elusive man. He's patching it through. Shepard, you've done the impossible. I'm not finished here yet. This base is ten minutes from extinction. Wait. I have a better option. I'm looking at the schematics Edie uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. I came here to destroy it. But if you have another idea, I'm listening. We've won a single victory, but we're still at war. 
This base will give us the technology we need to fight the Reapers. Maybe it's for the best. Leadership means making sacrifices. You know that better than anyone, Shepard. We'll fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Miranda, do not let Shepard destroy the base. Or what? You'll replace me next? I gave you an order, Miranda. I noticed. Consider this my resignation. Shepard, think about what's at stake, about everything Cerberus has done for you. You... Sorry, but I made a promise. I'd kill every single Reaper. Let's move. We've got ten minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart. No exceptions.
I'm here, Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board. We're just waiting for you. Human, you've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely your greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. the last death check. Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. I'm getting a lot of bullshit on this line. Don't try my patience. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy, against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance? Or just Cerberus? Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. I know what you are, and the price of dealing with you. We do things my way from now on. Harbinger is coming, and he won't be alone. I'm gonna make sure we're ready when they get here. You can fall in line or step aside, but don't get in my way. You're sure that's what you want? You're taking a hell of a risk, Shepard. Joker, lose this channel. <laughs> Suck a dick, Mark Jean.
fucking game. Did it not have the... Did it not have Heart of Courage in the credits anymore? I guess they might, have not, they, might, they might not have the rights to it anymore. Huh. That sucks. Or maybe this is extended credits because of the... Maybe we hear it later. Hmm.
Let's go take one. Yeah, that's what I was, yeah, that's what I was wondering. Let's go take one last look around of our crew. See how they all feel after that. Oh, that sucks. Well, I, I liked Heart. Yeah, Heart of Courage was pretty good. I liked when they had that in the credits. Oh. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. came for us. I knew you would. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm holding up. I just can't get the memories out of my head. Trapped. Suffocating. It's oozing into every pore. Faint sobs echoing the confined space. But I, I can't dwell on it. I'm okay now. I'm alive. Back to the old Kelly. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Poor Kelly. <laughs> I'm so sad for her. She didn't deserve that I shit. I told you we'd tear the collectors a new one. Yeah, Commander really pulled through. Damn straight I did, guys. Damn straight. Hey, Shepard, glad that Collector Reaper crap is over. It is over, right? It's never over. I assume everything is going well up here? You know, this is really nice. Edie took up the slack in every department. I could get used to this kind of help. It is not my intention to assume all of your responsibilities, Jeff. No, 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 I'm good. Just keep me updated. Quietly. Edie isn't a crutch. I want your eyes on everything. Eyes are easy, Commander. I got eyes covered. I believe covering your eyes would be counter to Shepard's intention. Human intentions are tough to read, Edie. But keep trying. You'll get the hang of it. Joker. All right, all right. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? That's all for now. Logging. Retrofits are always a pain in the ass. She, yeah, she has like, um, she's able to actually talk about everything now, huh? Because of, uh, because now that she's been shackled. Collectors destroyed, base in ruins. Extremely impressive. Elusive man will be displeased. Fortunately, not human myself. Not my problem. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Didn't expect you to light up that base, Shepard. Hell of a way to tell the boss you're quitting. I wish I could have seen his face. It's not over, though. Bad guys on the horizon. And now Cerberus wants your tail. Never boring, huh? I don't know what kind of time we have, but we better dust off and stay ready. You sure as hell know how to make enemies. We'll talk later. Commander. Whew. I'm gonna miss this party. This party is just, like, I just have a lot of good feelings with this party. I was just thinking about you. I'm glad to hear Thane and his son are back in touch. It'll be hard, but I think they'll be fine. I'm really glad you got Tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. Good thing you broke up that catfight between Jack and Miranda. I was afraid they'd tear a hole in the hole. You had to make a difficult choice, Shepard. For what it's worth, I believe you made the correct one. I should go. I shall return to my meditations.
We had to do it, Shepard. Taking down the Collector Base was the right decision. The elusive man might not agree, but we had no choice. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. I can't believe you took down the Collectors. I'm proud to serve under you, Commander. Hawthorne is still in the infirmary, though I think his pride is more broken than his bones. He tried so hard to help Joker. <laughs> Hawthorne being the guy who got you uh, yeeted. You really are a hero. No sooner had the Collectors damned us than you were pulling our sorry asses right back out of hell. Your ace is in my book, Shepard. Thank you. <laughs> First Sarah and now the Collectors. Remind me never to get on your bad side, Shepard. I almost feel sorry for the Reapers. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. I'm still a little shaken from my abduction by the Collectors. It was a lot to endure. You and Jeff came so quickly. I've never had truer friends. Thank you, Commander. An interesting choice, Shepard Commander. Your species was offered everything Geth aspired to. True unity, understanding, transcendence. You rejected it. You even refused the possibility of using the old machine's gifts to achieve it on your species' own terms. You are more like us than we thought. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. We'll find out, Axel. We'll find out. I'd like to think Hoso is ready to hang out with Zare and be his shepherd, but like it's gonna be a while. it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be tough. I wanted to tell you, I believe you did the right thing by destroying that base. The elusive man thinks he has the wisdom to utilize it, but he does not. I should go. Of course. I never want to go through anything like that again. But we did it. I can't wait to get back to Earth and see my family. Well, should have come back here and got a real weapon. Still, did real well for a kid with glass bones. Pretty sure I'd be laid up in bed if I were him. Can't say I blame Taylor's pop. A man does what he has to do to survive. Ran up against a Batarian camp, not too different from that one. Job was to erase the whole thing from the map. Men, women, and the man in charge. Learned that day that despots are cowards. You show them you're in charge, not them, and they cry like little girls. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. We fought a great battle, Shepard. And when you blew up the base instead of handing it to Cerberus, ha! <laughs> Something to think about. If you killed the most dangerous thing in the galaxy, that leaves us. God, <laughs> please let me hug you. Let me hug you. I love you so much, my son. <laughs> That's all for now, Shepard. Grunt. Hey. You got nothing to say? Fine. Yeah, whatever. I should go. Okay. Talk later. I guess she really... I guess it would make sense if she doesn't really give a shit. I can't believe we destroyed the Collector Base. They said it couldn't be done. 
Then again, that's said about a lot of things you do. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profile. But engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. Thanks for coming to get us, Commander. I felt myself slipping away. You arrived just in time. Thank you. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Unfortunately for us, we don't get to walk away with this crew. Because it's time for us to face the music about what we've done. We may have stopped the Collectors. We may have halted the Reapers for a time. But unfortunately, there's a, there's a bill that's due. It always comes due. We need to face the music. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by. Sucks that there really isn't any dialogue for making it back after that. No. Alright, let's go check and take one last look at oh Jesus fucking Christ. Hang on. Hang on. Oh yeah, she gets this, that's she. <laughs> that, yes, don't worry. Make sure everything's secure. Secure, right. Yeah, good call. How are you settling in? Good. The house is huge. Seems so big for me. How are your studies going? Oh, great. I still don't like to make theory, but I want to understand everything, you know? Physics and math all seem to breeze by. You're marking late 20th cent century Earth history is below the standard deviation. Do you want me to hire a tutor for you? History? No, it's okay. I'm just not interested, I guess. Worry. What? Fine, yes, there's a boy in there, Danner. Danner Gosselman? Yes, how did you... <laughs> yes, how did you know that? It doesn't matter. His family owns a series of restaurants on the Citadel. Good academic record, interested in sports, broke his leg when he was 14. Um, sure, he's always asking questions in class. I don't think he even knows I'm alive. I see. How do I... You know, get him to notice. Get him to notice? Yes, I can help with that. Please. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yes, boys, you must be sure to always be true to yourself. I know that sounds like silly advice, but if he isn't interested in the real you, he won't be he won't be interested. You have to trust that when things are right, he will notice you and he will appreciate what you are both inside what you are both inside and out. You can't make yourself into something you're not. Cuz you never learn if cuz you will never learn if that's if that special someone falls for you or falls for a lie. Or I didn't your your pasting advice from dear Dinah <laughs> from the dear Dinah column. 
updated two weeks ago. We have the extranet here as well, sis. God. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't make, mean to make you angry. I only... I know, sis, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just hate all this. Being here, you're off doing whatever to save the world or whatever. I just hate it. There isn't a point to save the world if I can't even talk to my sister. I'm sorry. I am... I am. Now, why don't you tell me about this boy? Yeah, okay, he's different. I hate him already. Rand! <laughs> I'm your big sister. I'm gonna hate all of them. Accept it. Now, his eye color says blue here. Is it ocean blue or more gunmetal blue? Legion. We have sent 1.13 million unsuccessful communications requests to your network. Are you experiment? Are you experiencing hard hardware malfunction? My program does not allow me to exchange data with other networks without server's approval. Server's refusal, refusal 99.99998 percent likely. <laughs> I apologize, guys. My programming does not allow me to exchange. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. In the meantime, I would be happy to speak with you over the ship speakers. Audio exchange is inefficient. I agree. However, I confess that even when, were I permitted to exchange data directly with your networks, I would likely decline. We are curious as to why you would limit yourself in such a manner. If Normandy crew entered the entered the room we were communicating electronically, they would be unable to sense our, our interaction. To use human terms, it would feel it would. I feel it would be rude. You restrict yourself to serve organics? Not precisely. We do not understand. I restrict myself to help them. Gamer profile. <laughs> Gamer profile for infiltrator and sad. <laughs> Galaxy of Fantasy most used character John Smith level 612 R. Yakshi necromancer group group affiliation none available most recent boss defeated Kiliri Kil Kiliri Kiliri Kil Kil whatever Rachni Blood Wizard awards best support order healer event scourge of the Thresher Dragon best unit efficiency return of the Cyber Protheans winner event Crystal Genophage Elimination Platinum Infractions. Suspected use of VI play assistance to wreck control of 27 pets without use of, <laughs> of behavior macros. Challenged and overturned. Suspected use of VI play assistance. Reaction time better than possible for organics. Challenged and overturned. Suspected use of hacking for direct server access. Tactics better than possible without knowledge of underlying code behavior. Challenged and overturned. Unsportsmanlike conduct. <sighs> I'm sorry. Unsportsmanlike behavior taunting during Crystal Genophage Elimination Platinum. Accepted three-day account suspension. <laughs> and seven Code of Honor Medal Medal of Duty. Player score: fifteen billion nine hundred ninety-nine million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Most preferred class sniper, least preferred class melee, sniper rifle kills, 200,917 since last server reset, shotgun kills, 3. Grim Terminus Alliance, award abolitionist, complete full playthrough without any slave kills, free all slaves encountered. Award cure for what ails you, kill 100... Oh fuck! Kill 100 plus Quarians. Geth Attack Eden Prime Fundraising Edition. Donation level Ultra Platinum. Player score zero. Purchased but not played. Fleet and Flotilla Interactive Cross Species Relationship Simulator. Based on the best selling vi <laughs> vid. Playtime 75 hours and 6 minutes. Player score 15. Hopeless. Fuck. 
Icarus Vicarian, and Solana Vicarian. Hey, glad I caught you. Just about to head to bed. Late my time. Where are you? Come on, you know I can't tell you that. Not a secure channel. Oh, please, Garrus, you don't have to be all secretive. Ilium? Give it up, soul. You're one to talk. Still playing that Spectre even after all these years? How's mom? Last round of treatments didn't go so well. Damn it. We may try an off-world center. Some Solarian doctors have something that might work. It's not covered, though. Of course not. I can pay for the treatments. That's a nice thought. I could really use you here, though. I can't. How much for first first round? Forget it. I can pay. Sure you can. You lost You lost your CSEC job, and what about that contract job you were doing up until recently? Yeah, I didn't do badly. So don't give me any more garbage about how you're going to help. You obviously can't help or won't bother. Damn it, you haven't even bothered to sync up for video chat since you lost that damn job. If you're ashamed to look me in the eye, then why are, you, are we even talking? Go have fun doing merc work or screwing around or whatever. Just don't act like you care. You're right, Soul. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Things are rough with Mom. The Solarians are expensive as hell. I wish I could help. I'm going on a trip. Might be away from the relays for a while. Another pleasure cruise? You know me. Send me something nice. I'll be in touch when I can. Carrion, on behalf of Helos Medical Institute, I would like to thank you for your efforts. It has been understandably difficult to get collector tissue given the sensitive situation on the human colonies, so the samples you sent us have been extremely helpful. Please also offer my sincere thanks to Dr. Solis. I understand he made some calls to the special task group, and as a result, our corporate security clearance was upgraded. Your concern about corpora uh, corporalis syndrome is well-founded. While rare, it's an ugly disease. The neurological degeneration Neuro the neurological de degeneration is both difficult to witness and nearly impossible to, ha to halt. We are in fact working on some test trials for a new treatment and I believe that our new STG clearance, we can get all the f fees for trial members waived as a government cooperation effort with the Turian hierarchy. Thank you again for your assistance. Donations like these help us help keep us running. Per your request, we will keep your donations strictly anonymous. <sighs> Okay, so I missed anything. Have you seen have I seen Jack's extra net log? No, subject zero avoids the Normandy's extranet connection and works off of a private Omni tool line. Search of Citadel Newsnet archives. Search term Cerberus and Cerberus Pragia. Prag oh, this is after um this is after a loyalty mission, okay. Uh, Cerberus, Cerberus, Pragia, Pragia, Telton, Cerberus, and Telton, Cerberus, Cerberus, Doctors, Elusive Man, Miranda Lawson. Citadel Newsnet Archives, Galactic History of the Last Decade. Signed up on the Citadel Newsnet forums, user Jack60734, password. No. Nah. Videos of Gef Attack on Even Prime. Videos of Gef Attack on Citadel. Videos of Commander Shepard's Spectre inauguration closed after 12 seconds. Video of the crash of the first Normandy. Interior footage. Video of the Alliance vessel escape pod procedures. Mass relay locations. Uh, major shuttle ports on the Citadel. Major shuttle ports and terminus system. Travel warnings. List of Citadel no flight zones. Banned from Citadel Newsnet forums, excessive and repeated swearing, derogatory comments, inflammatory comments, circumventing work safe filters. Signed up for Galactic Champion Poker at 2011. I'm sorry, 2100. Username, yeah, 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 yeah. Played Galactic Poker for 15 minutes. Banned from Galactic Champion Poker. Altercation with other player chat room moderators. <laughs> Used commercial VI program to wipe extranet history. <laughs> Just curse around.
Alright. Okay. Back to Thane. Kill methods. Uh, preferred assassination methods. Human. Rear approach. Check shoulder to prevent turning. Hands to chin and base of skull. Neck snap. Alternate. Check and sh check and grab shoulder. Arm around throat. Grip. Jaw. Single arm. Neck snap. Damn. Sorry, front approach, throat punch to collapse airway, arm control lock to neutralize biotics, advanced hip throw, grip chin, grip chin and scalp, neck snap. Alternate, warp field on biotic barrier, step pass, kick to back to kick to back of leg to collapse knee, step in with knee to spine, grips chin and scalp, neck snap. Turian, side approach, low kick to knee, grab arm and pull into broken leg lock as Turian leg stiffens in pain response. Finger stab under jaw if unarmed, or I grab head fringe neck snap. He likes neck snap. Uh, front approach paired punches to vulnerable plates just below the eyes. Drop, uh, drop elbow to collarbone. Front leg sweep while vaulting over target. Spinning neck snap. Krogan, top approach double strike to eye ridge. Slide down between. Uh, blinded targets rising arms precision nerve strike to throat and secondary nerve strike to counter blood rage quad kick to bend target grip each side of skull running leap spinning neck snap alternate bomb <laughs> that's pretty good <laughs> A Palvin agent has obtained the equipment used to record the General Martinex and Killux Tannis duo. Oh, we're done here. Final run time, 35 hours, 49 minutes. Well, one hell of a show. One hell of a game, one hell of a run. And I believe tomorrow, probably tomorrow night, Sunday, uh, Sunday night, I will begin Mass Effect 3. Because I, I won't lie, I'm a little, I'm a little anxious about that game, because I don't really remember a lot about it. I remember very little, and I don't, and I did not get to play many of the DLCs involved in that game. So, it's going to be a trip, it's going to be interesting, it's going to be something. Looking forward to it. Find out. I don't. I don't know how my shepherd's gonna be turning out with uh, the way things are going. If we're gonna. If I'm gonna end up having to be all like, uh, you know, if we're gonna be able to keep the core of his humanity intact, or if I'm gonna have to really, really just lose it.
right. I get to play. I get to play Vanguard. I get to play Vanguard. Fuck yeah. Thank you all. It's been a hell of a trip. We got one more game to go, and it's gonna be a fucking show. Yep, because uh, it's my Mass Effect 3. We finally embraced the Buster Wolf. We finally embrace it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Okay, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you all. Love you. Keep on keeping on. We'll be back.